All right, good morning, everyone. Ladies and gents, welcome to Build Exclusively with Antonio T. Smith Jr. Glad to have everyone on the call. Yesterday's call was really good. You would have thought yesterday was Thursday, but it was only Tuesday, you know? <laughs> okay, y'all see the other look. <laughs> but it was really good. It was much needed. But we are excited for what is about to transpire on today. Glad to have each and every one of you on the call. As always, uh, we are always excited about this call to find out what is going to be taught so that we can go out and execute and then learn about all the ways, all the different ways people have been executing with AI, with chat GPT and all the various names that we've given chat GPT. So again, we're glad to have each and every one of you on. I will wait for our founder and CEO to put his camera on and we will keep going. So, but that's it. Carlos is what Deanna and Mr. Smith call it. Chibit is another name. Uh, what, what does the law call it? Is it Chitty? Chitty. Chitty. Okay. Chitty, 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 Chitty bang, bang. Bang. Got Carlita. And Charlie. Charlie. And uh, I know Renee says she calls hers Calvin. <laughs> so, so here we go. So. All right. <clears throat> Believe me. You ready, sir? Well, I think he's plugging in his headphones. But yes, like I said, yesterday was a really great call and was very, very much needed. Very much needed. Great call. So I'm about to hand it over to Greatness, founder and CEO of Antonio T. Smith Jr. LLC and the ATSJR Companies. Millionaire and billionaire maker, innovator and creator, all the way from Galveston, G Town, Texas, Mr. Antonio T. Smith Jr. Mornings, everyone. Mornings. Thank you for being here. This is one of those. My agenda keeps changing this morning because so many different things keeps changing this morning. Today's topic is. way ahead of our time there you go way ahead of our time this is what we need to talk about today so what i want you to do is this is i i hate to tell y'all what to do but i don't think you should do anything else today but listen to me i don't think you should do anything else because I think your future depends on it. Chat GTP, Chat GPT four came out yesterday. I'm assuming you want to know. Wow. Yes. I'm. I'm assuming you want to be early. Yes. Please. That's correct. So we have to discuss that. I'm giving you my agenda, Grace, as I go. All in Brook is coming out within. I keep telling y'all 60 days, realistically, I could probably put it up today. So you need to be ready for that. We have to talk about that because you're not ready. No offense to you. But you're not taking seriously the present. There you go. You don't take the present seriously enough. There's a, there's, there's a ministry, there's a power in being first. There's a big power in being first. When you join something first, well, I guess there's two ways to look at first. If you invent something first, you're probably just paving the way for somebody else like me because yours is going to suck and you're going to get arrows in the back. Like the Palm Pilot. Napster, you know, Napster was social media music file share. It was the first social media. So Steve Jobs redid that in 2008 with Apple Music. Mm -hmm. And then MySpace redid it with MySpace right, in 2005 or whatever it was. So obviously, you don't want to be that kind of first. But you do want to be first to YouTube. You do want to be first to MySpace. You do want to be first to Facebook. You do want to be first to Snapchat. 
you get it? We can keep going. We can keep going. We can keep going. You absolutely want to be first to Arlen Brook. I'll explain. It has nothing to do with vanity. It has everything to do with you want to be first to the first social media paying out 40%. You, you'll see. It'll make sense in a little bit. It'll make sense in a little bit. And then I was I, what I was going to do, Jerome, I was going to be nice and fancy and read chapters two and three of United Cities of Solaria. I was going to turn this morning into the virtual book tour so you can all drink your scotch at seven o'clock tonight. But I guess we'll all just have to drink scotch together tonight. We'll see, see if we have time. But those are the main two things I want to focus on. Chat GPT. Oh, there's one more thing. I'm sorry. And then, because after I explain all of it, then you're going to say, well, I don't know what to do, Antonio, because that's what's, that's what's going to happen. And then we're going to address knowing what to do. All right. Now we'll call that section, Grace, what am I selling? Or what am I building? Or I don't know. Something. Right? We're going to talk about realistic. Actually, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to use some me and Grace, because I've had Grace do this twice. And I think she, did you still, did you ever show your sister the prompts like you said you were? I, I didn't. I, okay. I'm going to show it to her. Well, yeah, well, you, you'll show it to her. But you, so I want you to go back to those prompts. Me and Grace will walk you through trying to figure out what to do with your lives. Is that okay? I mean, I mean God has given you Chad GPT, might as well. Use it. Who, if you're a part of OpenAI, ChatGPT in any way, then you more than likely got an email yesterday. If you, okay. So Deanna's feeling a little unwell. So she dozes off. That's that's all that Sudafed and stuff she's taking. So, no, no, you know, between her and Shelly, they just got off work. And you understand. <laughs> no problem. If you missed... Chat GPT, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to send links first, and then we're going to watch a 24 minute video or as much of it as we can. Is that okay? There is a wait list and blah, blah, blah. Grace, what you can do is you can put this stuff in the notes of the official call. Wind this up a little bit. And you can multitask for right now. I've been giving you just an overview. And wait, chat, there we go, chat, chat, there we go. Here you go, Grace. Thank you for that. You put that in the, that's part of the, that's the email. That's literally the email. That's not something I researched. That's the email they sent over. I'll show you the email. It was yesterday. I didn't bring it up because yeah, I was gone. Here's the email, OpenAI. We created GPT-4, most capable model. They did a live demo course. Who do you think was on the live demo, Grace? You. Of course. And if you can still click this link, I'll put it in the chat. It'll take you straight to the YouTube video. Oh, yes. Okay, no problem. Got you, Janice. Just got your email. Oh, well, this is a hold on. I won't I won't send you all that. I won't see you that link. I'll see you an actual YouTube link. That's the link tracking me because I clicked the email. There's a YouTube link to the video. And then here's overview page. So here's your overview page. All about it, Grace. And I keep multitasking. I'm just sending our resources. We'll call this, just put overview page on top of that, Grace. Okay. And then here is the blog post. I may have them backwards. I think I got them backwards, Grace. Let me see. Let me open this up. No, the blog post is just incredible. Here's the blog post. It is incredible. We're gonna go through highlights of all of this. So there is your product, the overview of the first one, Grace. The second one is your blog post. 
And then there's an API wait list. I don't, I don't you know, I need, I need y'all to just be ready for that. Do you still suggest just doing the free, not? Yes, I still suggest doing the free for the common person. I would join the, the well, I don't think you join an API wait list. Grace needs to. Because you're building an app, Grace. So if you're doing something technical like that, then I would join an API wait list. But other than that, you just stay free. This is for, this is mainly for creators. So that's here. And then I'll show you what all this looks like. And then here's, of course, here's ChatGPT Plus. So you want to focus on ChatGPT Plus and ChatGPT, the, the free version. There you go. And Sir, then, yes, ma'am. The second to last um, link you put in, what is that? I know the, the second blog. one is the overview. It's the a blog. Who? The blog, blog okay. right here it says blog post with details. Blog, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Here you go. Hey, hey, in fact, if you just copy and paste this, that'll help you out, Grace. My bad. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just separate those. There you go. And then, so that's that. So here's the email. Pretty simple. You know, what? let me let, let me point this out. I, I think Phil would appreciate this because his his brain works this way. Hundred million plus users. They release a new product. That's a clean email. Now that really needs to be discussed. That that y'all really, really need to look at that. That ain't no email template brochure thingy. Look at look at it. That's a clean email. Highlights, so you ain't got to read all of it, Grace. Right, right. Old clickable links. Clickable links, clickable links, clickable links. Straightforward link. to the point. Yep. Straightforward. When you when you so if you if you go like if you look at all these apps with a billion users, their homepage. Let me show y'all. Their homepage is garbage because their homepage is all about one thing: getting you to register. That's it. Look, two billion plus users a day. TikTok has. Uh uh See, y'all want to pay attention. That's all right. See, this is what I just, okay. This is where you stop multitasking. Did you say two way. billion a day? Yes. Oh, you can't see the screen. Yes, two billion a day is what TikTok has. TikTok has two billion active users a day. Period. And I want you. I want you to see their home screen. Look at their home screen. Look at that. It's all about just logging in and, the, and there's like what? Eight, seven different ways to log in? You're going to log in or you're going to register. Which one you going to do? If I, if I you come here to Facebook. I come log out. You're going to log in or what? That's Facebook. You see it? Yep. This is so not the email I use. But that's Facebook. You're going to log in or what? What you going to do? Now, this is my VPN telling me they had a data breach. So there you go. That's Facebook. But what do you think? Just by chance, Grace, what you think on a log login going to look like? You going to log in or what? Okay. You gonna log in and sign up. <laughs> All that. I wonder what. You know what? I show. I show you probably the best login page ever. In my opinion, is OnlyFans. Uh huh. That's it. Now watch this here, Grace. If you go, I have no, I have, I don't, I don't know anybody with an OnlyFans page. Um, OnlyFans, um, Google, OnlyFans, 
Nikki Minaj, maybe? Does she got one? Nikki Minaj. I have no idea. I don't know. I ain't even spell the name right. OnlyFans. All right. Top OnlyFans pages. There we go. That'll get us there. 50 OnlyFans girls with nudity or something, whatever. Okay. This girl with a breast out. Let's go to her page real quick. Is this it? How do you get here this way? No? How do you get there? Is this it? Wait a minute. I saw a button that says see profile. Yeah. Is this it? Well, there we go. All right. That's it. Besides that, fan of pictures. That's all you're going to see. Right? That's it. So if you want to see her sexual stuff, you got to pay. You subscribe. For, that's it. You, you get the little... Suggest a picture in the profile. That is it. That's one of the things that make OnlyFans so successful. It's because when you log in, you can't see nothing. You get hit with a paywall. Remember that. Because if you're selling something, like an app, keep your stuff clean. Yeah. That was free information. It wasn't part of the script, but hopefully you got it. All right, let's catch some of these highlights first. This, my friends, is where you stop most of your multitasking. I don't, I don't want to make you stop, but there's a power in being first, Jerome. We need to know it first. made a mistake i'm sorry i forgot to tell you you're going to hear from a developer's perspective let me let me break this down a little bit more mid journey all those voice ai i remember all, most of those ai apps i showed y'all the other day they're more than likely api'd on chat gp or or what you or on open ai open ai is the standard and everyone is using that. Do, do, do you get it? Everyone's using that to develop their own products. So it's going to come from that perspective. All right, let's go. To the GPT-4 developer demo live stream. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to believe that this day is here. OpenAI has been building this technology really since we started the company, but for the past two years, we've been really focused on delivering GPT-4. That started with rebuilding our entire training stack, actually training the model, and then seeing what it was capable of, trying to figure out its capabilities, its risks, working with partners in order to test it in real world scenarios, really tuning its behavior, optimizing the model, getting it available so that you can use it. And so today, our goal is to show you a little bit of how to make GPT-4 shine how to really get the most out of it, you know, where it's kind of, you know, weaknesses are, where it's, we're still working on it, and just how to really use it as a good tool, a good partner. Um, so if you're interested in participating in the stream, uh, that if you go to our Discord, so it's discord.gg slash openai, uh, there's comments in there, and we'll take a couple of audience suggestions. So the first thing I want to show you is the first task that GPT-4 could do that we never really got 3.5 to do. And the way to think about this is all throughout training that you know, you're constantly doing all this work. It's 2 a.m., the pager goes off, you fix the model, and you're always wondering, is it gonna work? Is all of this effort actually gonna pan out? And so we all had a pet task that we really liked and that we would all individually be trying to see, is the model capable of it now? And I'm gonna show you the first one that we had a success for four, but never really got there for 3.5. So I'm just gonna copy the top of our blog post from today going to paste it into our playground. Now this is our new chat completions playground that came out two weeks ago. I'm gonna show you first with GPT 3.5, four has the same API to it, the same playground. The way that it works is you have a system message where you explain to the model what it's supposed to do. And we've made these models very steerable. So you can provide it with really any instruction you want, whatever you dream up. And the model will adhere to it pretty well. And in the future, it will get increasingly, increasingly powerful at, at steering the model very reliably. You can then paste whatever you want as a user. The model will return messages as an assistant. 
And the way to think of it is that we're moving away from sort of just raw text in, raw text out, where you can't tell where different parts of the conversation come from, but towards this much more structured format that gives the model the opportunity to know, well, this is the user asking me to do something that the developer didn't intend. I should listen to the developer here. All right, so now time to actually show you the task that I'm referring to. So everyone's familiar with summarize this let's say article into a sentence, okay? Getting a little more specific, uh, but where every word begins with G. So this is 3.5, let's see what it does. Yeah, it kind of didn't even try, just gave up on the task. This is pretty typical for 3.5 trying to do this particular kind of task. If it's you know, sort of a very kind of stilted article or something like that, maybe it can succeed, but for the most part, <coughs> 3.5 just gives up. But let's try the exact same prompt, the exact same system message in GPT-4. So kind of borderline whether you want to count AI or not, uh, but so let's say AI doesn't count. That's cheating. So fair enough, the model happily accepts my feedback. So now to make sure it's not just good for G's, uh, I'd like to turn this over to the audience. I'll take a suggestion on what letter to try next. <clears throat> In the meanwhile, while I'm waiting for our moderators to pick the, the lucky, lucky letter, uh, I will give a try with A. Um, but in this case, I'll say GPT-4 is fine. Why not? Also, pretty good summary. So I'll hop over to our Discord. All right. Wow. Uh, people are, are being a, a little ambitious here. I'm really trying to put the model through the paces. We're going to try Q, uh, which if you think about this for a moment, I want the audience to really think about how would you do a summary of this article that all starts with Q. It's not easy. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So I've shown you summarizing an existing article. I want to show you how you can flexibly combine ideas between different articles. So I'm going to take this article that was on Hacker News yesterday, copy paste it into the same conversation so it has all the context of what we were just doing. I'm going to say uh, find one common theme between this article and the GPT-4 blog. So this is an article about Pinecone, which is a Python web app development framework, and it's making the technology more accessible, user-friendly. If you don't think that was insightful enough, you can always give some feedback and say, that was not insightful enough, please. No, I'll just even just leave it there, leave it up to the model to decide. So bridging the gap between powerful technologies and practical applications. Seems not bad. Um, and of course, you can ask for any other kind of task you want using its flexible language understanding um, and synthesis. You can ask for something like, now turn the GPT-4 blog post into a rhyming poem. Picked up, on, <coughs> picked up on OpenAI evals, open source for all, helping to guide answering the call. Which, by the way, if you'd like to contribute to this model, please give us evals. We have an open source evaluation framework that will help us guide and all of our users understand what the model is capable of and to take it to the next level. So there we go. This is consuming existing content using GPT-4 with a little bit of creativity on top. But next, I want to show you how to build with GPT-4 what it's like to create with it as a partner. And so the thing we're going to do is we're going to actually build a Discord bot. I'll build it live and show you the process, show you debugging, show you what the model can do, where its limitations are, and how to work with, with them in order to sort of achieve new heights. So the first thing I'll do is tell the model that this time it's supposed to be an AI programming assistant. Its job is to write things out in pseudocode first and then actually write the code. And this approach is very helpful to let the model break down the problem into smaller pieces. And then that way, you're not kind of asking it to just come up with a super hard solution to a problem all in one go. It also makes it very interpretable because you can see exactly what the model was thinking and you can even provide corrections if you'd like. 
So uh, here is the prompt that we're going to ask it. Uh, this is the kind of thing that 3.5 would totally choke on if you've, if you've tried anything like it. Um, but so we're going to ask for a Discord bot that uses the GPT-4 API to uh, read images and text. Now, there's one problem here, which is this model's training cutoff is in 2021, which means it has not seen our new chat completions format. So I literally just went to the blog post from two weeks ago, copy pasted from the blog post, including the response format. It has not seen the new image extension to that. And so I just kind of wrote that up in you know just very minimal detail about how to include images. And now the model can actually leverage that, doc that documentation that it did not have memorized, that it does not know. And in general, these models are very good at using information that it's been trained on in new ways and synthesizing new content. And you can see that right here, that it actually wrote an entirely new bot. Now, let's actually see if this bot is going to work in practice. So you should always look through the code to get a sense of what it does. Don't run untrusted code from humans or from AIs. Um, and one thing to note is that the Discord API has changed a lot over time, and particularly that there's one feature that has changed a lot since this model was trained. Give it a try. In fact, yes, we are missing the intents keyword. This is something that came out in 2020. So the model does know it exists, but it doesn't know which version of the Discord API we're using. So are we out of luck? Well, not quite. We can just simply paste to the model exactly the error message, not even going to say, hey, this is from running your code. Could you please fix it? We'll just let it run. And the model says, oh yeah, whoops, the intense argument. Here's the correct, here's the correct code. Now let's give this a try, once again, kind of making sure that we understand what the code is doing. Now, a second issue that can come up is it doesn't know what environment I'm running in. And if you notice, it says, hey, here's this inscrutable error message, which if you've not used Jupyter Notebook a lot with async IO before, you probably have no idea what this means. But fortunately, once again, you can just sort of say to the model, hey, I, I'm using Jupyter and would like to make this work. Can you fix it? Jupyter the specific the problem is that there's already an event loop running, so you need to use this nest async IO library. You need to call nest async IO dot apply. The model knows all of this, correctly instantiates all of these, these pieces into the bot it even helps you, helpfully tells you, oh, you're running in Jupyter. Well, you can do this bang pip install in order to install the package if you don't already have it. So that was very helpful. So now we'll run, and it looks like something happened. So the first thing I'll do is go over to our Discord, and I will paste in a screenshot of our Discord itself. So remember, GPT-4 is not just a language model. It's also a vision model. In fact, it can flexibly accept inputs that intersperse images and text arbitrarily, kind of like a document. Now, the image feature is in preview, so this is going to be a little sneak peek. It's not yet publicly available. It's something we're working with one partner called Be My Eyes in order to really start to develop it and get it ready for prime time. But you can ask anything you like. For example, I can't, you know, I'll say GP4, hello world. Can you describe this image in painstaking detail? All right, which first of all, think of how you would do this yourself. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could latch onto, a lot of different pieces of the system you could describe. And we can go over to the actual code and we can see that, yep, we in fact received the message, have formatted an appropriate request for our API. And now we wait. Um, because you know, one of the things we have to do is we have to make the system faster. That's one of the things that we're working on optimizing. Um, in the meanwhile, I just want to say to the audience that's watching, we'll take an audience request next. So if you have an image and a task you'd like to accomplish, please submit that to the Discord. Our moderators will pick one that, that we'll run. So we can see that the Discord, oh, it looks like we have a response. Perfect. So it's a screenshot of a Discord application interface. Pretty good. Did not even describe it. It knows that, that it's Discord. 
There's probably Discord written there somewhere where it just kind of knows this from, from prior experience. Um, server icon labeled GPT-4 describes the interface in great detail, talks about uh, all the people telling me that I'm supposed to do Q, uh, very, very kind audience, uh, and describes much of the, uh, the, the notification messages and the users that are in the channel. And so there you go, that's some, that's some pretty good understanding. Now, this next one, if you notice, first of all, we got a post, but the model did not actually see the message. So is this a failure of the model or of the system around the model? Well, we can take a look. And if you notice, here, content is an empty string. We received a blank message contents. The reason for this is a dirty trick that we played on the AI. So if you go to the Discord documentation and you scroll through it all the way down to, uh, I can see it hard for me to even find, honestly, to the message content intent, you'll see this was added as of September 2022 as a required field. So in order to receive a message that does not explicitly tag you, you now have to include this new intent in your code. Remember I said, intents have changed a lot over time. This is much newer than the model is, possible, is possibly able to know. So maybe we're out of luck. We have to debug this by hand. But once again, we can try to use GPT-4's language understanding capabilities to solve this. Now keep in mind, this is a document of like, I think this is like 10,000, 15,000 words, something like that. It's not formatted very well. This is literally a command A copy paste. Like this is what it's supposed to parse through to find in the middle of that document that, oh yeah, message contents, that's required now. But let's see if it can do it. So we will ask for, uh, I am receiving blank message contents. Can you, why could this be happening? How do I fix it? So one thing that's new about GPT-4 is context length. 32,000 tokens is kind of the upper limit that we support right now. Uh, and the model is able to flexibly use long documents. Uh, it's something we're still optimizing, so we, we recommend trying it out, um, but not necessarily sort of really, really scaling it up just yet, um, unless you have an application that really benefits from it. So if you're really interested in long context, please let us know. We want to see what kinds of applications it unlocks. But if you see, it says, oh yeah, mes meshes content intent was not enabled. And so you could either ask the model to write some code for you, or you could uh, actually just you know, do it the old fashioned way. Either way is fine. I think that this is an augmenting tool, makes you much more productive, um, but it's still important that you are in the driver's seat and are the manager and, and knows what's, what's going on. So now we're connected once again. And uh, Boris, would you like to rerun the message? Once again, we can see that we have received it, even though the bot was not explicitly tagged. Seems like a pretty good, pretty good description. Interesting. This is an interesting image, actually. It looks like it's a Dolly-generated one. Um, and let's actually try this one as well. So what's funny about this image? Oh, it's already been submitted. So once again, we can verify that it's making the right API calls. Squirrels do typically eat nuts. We don't expect them to use a camera or act like a human. So I think that's, that's a pretty good explanation of why that image is funny. So I'm going to show you one more example of what you can do with this model. Grace, remind me to explain so this I particular section right here. So I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website, uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo of this mock-up, and then I'm going to send it to our Discord. All right, going to send it to our Discord. This is, of course, the rockiest part, making sure that we actually send it to the right channel, which, in fact, I think maybe I did not. 
sent it to the wrong channel. It's funny, it's always the, uh, the sort of non-AI parts of these demos that are the hardest part to do. And here we go. Technology is now solved. And now we wait. So the thing that's amazing in my mind is that what's going on here is we're talking to a neural network. And this neural network was trained to predict what comes next. Right? It played this, uh, this game of, sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And from there, it learns all of these skills that you can apply in all of these very flexible ways. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally, we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript filled in the jokes. That's incredible. For comparison, this was the original of our mock-up. Oh, wow. So there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. And this is all just potential, right? We, you can see lots of different applications. We ourselves are still figuring out new ways to use this. Um, so we're going to work with our partner. We're going to scale up from there. But please be patient, because it's going to take us some time to really make this available for everyone. So I have one last thing to show you. I've shown you reading existing content. I've shown you how to build with the system as a partner. The last thing I'm going to show is how to work with the system to accomplish a task that none of us like to do, but we all have to. So you may have guessed, the thing we're going to do is taxes. Now note that GPT is not a certified tax professional, nor am I, so you should always check with your, your tax advisor. Um, but it can be helpful to understand some dense content to just be able to empower yourself to, to be able to sort of solve problems and get a, get a handle on what's happening uh, when you could not otherwise. So once again, I'll do a system message. In this case, I'm going to tell it that it's tax GPT, uh, which is not a specific thing that we've trained into this model. You can be very creative if you want with the system message to really get the model in the mood of what is your job? What are you supposed to do? So I pasted in the tax code. This is about 16 pages worth of, of tax code. Um, and there's- I mean, Let me pause real quick. It's worth pausing real quick. I don't know if I can blow this up. Because this, I don't think that blows up for y'all, but. See how it framed, it, that's not just a chat GPT-4 effect. See how it tells the, the model what to be? You're no longer chat GPT, you are text GPT. A large language model trained in open AI. Carefully read and apply the tax code. Be certain about your calculations and blah, blah, blah. So y'all don't, don't rush so much. Make sure you tell your model what you want it to do. But anyway, we keep going question about Alice and Bob. They got married at one point, uh, and that here are their, their incomes, and they take a standard deduction. They're filing jointly. So first question, what is their standard deduction for 2018? So while the model is chugging, I'm going to solve this problem by hand to show you what's involved. So the standard deduction uh, is the basic standard deduction plus the additional. The basic one is 200% uh, for a joint return uh, of subparagraph C which is here, okay, so additional doesn't apply, the limitation doesn't apply, um, okay, none of these apply. Oh, wait, special rules for taxable year 2018, which is the one we care about, through 2025, you have to substitute 12,000 for 3,000. So 200% of 12,000, 24,000 is the final answer. If you notice, the model got the, to the same conclusion, and you can actually read through its explanation. And to tell you the truth, the first time I tried to approach this problem myself, I could not figure it out. I spent half an hour reading through the tax code, trying to figure out this like back reference and why there's subparagraph, like just what's even going on. It was only by asking the model to spell out its reasoning, and then I followed along, that I was like, oh, I get it now. I understand how this works. And so that, I think, is where the power of this system lies. It's not perfect, but neither are you. And together, it's this amplifying tool that lets you just reach new heights. And you can go further. You can say, OK, now calculate their total liability. And here we go. It's doing the calculation. Yeah. 
And now AI is threatening the jobs of tax preparers. Honestly, I, every time it does it, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, this model is so good at mental math. Uh, it's way, way better than I am at mental math. It's not hooked up to a calculator. Like that's another way that you could really try to enhance these systems. But it has these raw capabilities that are so flexible. It doesn't care if it's code. It doesn't care if it's language. It doesn't care if it's tax. All of these capabilities in one system that can be applied towards the problem that you care about, towards your application, towards whatever you build. And so to end it, the final thing that I will show is I, a little other dose of creativity, which is now summarize this problem into a rhyming poem. And there we go, a beautiful, beautiful poem about doing your taxes. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope you learn something about what the model can do, how to work with it. And honestly, we're just really excited to see what you're going to build. I, I've talked about OpenAI evals, please contribute. We think that this model, improving it, bringing it to the next level is something that everyone can contribute to and that we think it can really benefit a lot of people and we want your help to do that. So thank you very much. We're so excited to see what you're going to build. Right, thank you so much for watching the ATS Artificial Intelligence Jet. No, I'm just joking. Open AI. You should receive an email list. The playground is not free. Playground is not free. All right, so there's, let's, so I, I guess, let, let's start there. Oh, no. yes, what I meant was what I'm using now you know, the way we do it now, the way we go in now and that that's you showed right. us. Yeah, yeah. Right. what I'm using now is what I meant. If I got that email yesterday um, mm -hmm. and I didn't watch it, but I'm glad they put it on YouTube or mm -hmm. saved it. Um, so I did get the email and it's saying to get on the wait list for version four. If, if you get on the wait list with that, then you have to start paying and you can't still use that free oh no 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 okay i get what you're saying yeah the, yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> i'm okay, glad yeah. you do <laughs> uh this so the question is a good question but uh, let me parse what's happening and i think everybody understanding what you just watched was for developers so if you don't plan on building an app and then charging people for that app or product then really everything you heard wasn't for you but it doesn't mean dismiss it because you can always hire somebody to do it for you or something like that so no Susan, that won't happen because we're talking the difference between business and commercial no that's not right uh, how do you say regular people in b2b and c2c so chat gpt the free version is b2c and then what you just saw here was B2B. So you'll still be able to use your B2C, the free version, even if you sign up, because you're signing up for the B2B side. The even way. though it's using your same login information. Right, absolutely. Because you get, when you log in, you're logging in to both, like you, you get, you, they give you access for B2B, but you get to play with B2C. And they want, remember, they want you to play because that's how they're training yeah. their, their, their model, right? That, that's how they're training their model. Like a lot of people are, um, I'll show you. I, I'll, I'll actually. What does it cost? Do you have an idea what it's going to cost? Oh, yeah. I, I get charged. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what it costs. Oh, you're already on it? Uh -huh. yes, I thought there was a wait list. There's a wait list for ChatGPT4. I just joined that wait list while the video was going on. But uh, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. I'm halfway through um joining up. Do you know what that's gonna cost? Uh, it's it's gonna cost well, yeah, it's it, it's it's actually on the email and I'll pull it back up. Because what if I want to build an app or have somebody build exactly. an app? And then that's somebody soon. that I know personally build <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, absolutely. And then right there, you would absolutely a fun app, you know. A fun app. Yeah, you would absolutely then, everything you just heard today would absolutely apply to you. Is this, oh, this is the wait list, sorry. I'm so open up the wrong email. Hold on. X this. That's my app. That's my confirmation for the wait list, Grace. 
don't I forward. don't sign up for anything without asking you first. But I'm the grace is the same way. I can assure you the same way for sure. There you go. And I sign up. The tips do the same thing. I sign up for everything, you know, good or bad, trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, so the we cost let you is do right the here. Dirty work. <laughs> yeah. Cost is right here. I'm about 13 pages of text will run you about three cents. You know, six, 12. So it's a bit more expensive than the other. Yeah. Uh, and you, then, it's going to, you have to do quite a bit to create an app, say, like what Grace is doing or whatever. Right. But when he just showed that you can show an image and create a web page. Yeah. That, that, right was, there. that was yeah. incredible. Yeah. That yeah. was, that was, that was way beyond what I was thinking of anything that could happen with any open AI. Grace, I'm not sure if I put that YouTube link out there, but here it is. You so, did. Okay. All right, so let me log into open AI real quick. And then I can show Susan the the prices and stuff. The other prices of, of these, these are fantastic questions. You sometimes you just need to you just need to see it so you can make that connection. Your brain is making a connection, but you just need to see it. So let me let me help you out see it real quick. Playground. There we go. And I saw Deanna's question too. So here's the playground. You don't know it, but my super company is called Density Six. You don't know it because I've personally kept this secret. But when you come here to open AI, and then you come here and you get to pricing. And in this way, for, hey, Grace, you could put this out there. This is what you're currently paying for right now. So, well, people like me, because I'm a developer. So here, you know, this oh, they, this wasn't here yes, uh, day before yesterday. So this is now just what I just showed you in the email. This is GPT-4. And then your 3.5 turbo model, which I have. I've already hooked up turbo to a, quite a few things. I just haven't said anything. Is charging you two thousandths of a cent. So you go from two thousandths of a cent for a thousand tokens. What are tokens? You, you know how well, you know when I say it run out of gas, you it type oh, uh -huh. to the yeah. run out of gas. That's a token. That's those those oh, are tokens. Okay. Yeah, those are tokens. Basic, you know. So let's see. You can think of tokens as pieces of words. It's that gas. I just call it gas. It's just right. I get gas is an NFT term, and I just stole it from NFTs and just put it over here because it makes sense to me. You know, I just run out. Of, you and when it went out of gas, that is a thousand tokens. And now you gotta say continue from where you stopped. Yep. Right, Grace. I can't yeah. uh, pull my videos. That's yeah. it running out of gas. Okay. That, that's that's your thousand tokens. That's your thousand tokens for. This is why you pay for mid-journey. Well, okay, I'm going to give you the answer, but then I got to show you the answer first. So this is why you pay for mid-journey. You pay for mid-journey because every time you get one of those pictures, I'll share my desktop. Hold on, because I got my API keys open and stuff. Hold on, y'all. Get rid of some of this stuff. There we go. And then, okay, I think we can. Let me show my whole desktop real quick. There we go, Grace. You can see the whole desktop, yes? Yes. Outstanding. So every time we come to Mid Journey and you get one of these, this Grace right here cost Mid Journey about. 20 cents. Cent, tell me two cents. Oh. So they're charging you. You get what I'm saying? Because they're using the they're using the image model and they're being charged. This is why you pay $30 a month, $9 a month. This is why they give you your first 20 images free because you're 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 costing them money. So it really is a free trial. You get it, Grace? Yes. All right, because if you get it, I know everybody else get it. But let's see. So video panels, I see out again. 
So that's what happens here. So what does that look like in real life? Well, when you come here to back to my thing of a body, I can go to manage my account. And then right here, you see on March 7th, I was doing stuff that charged me, Grace. I was doing stuff yep, that charged me. Yeah. So right now, I'm four cents in on my 18. It's going to go away May 1st. Like, they're not. They're not. They're not. Uh, like, yeah. Now, now, in fairness, this is a lot of prompts, though. This is a lot. Remember, they charged me 0. 0.002 or something, right? So in fairness, this is a lot. This is a lot of tokens I used. Wait, so your $18 is going to expire May 1st? Is that what yes. you're saying? Oh, uh -huh. okay. Well, and then I'll be paying. So Susan says, well, tell me, what do you currently have your, what's one of the things, like how are you, how are you getting charged in? What are you doing to get charged, Antonio? And Antonio would now have to show you. Here's, here is code right now for Arlen Brook. This is, this is controlling the comments of your messenger. This, that's what this is. This is controlling the comments of your messenger. So when you message people back and forth, this is the app. This is the this is the code controlling that. This is the code controlling that. No no big deal. I, I won't explain it to you. Just know it's you can pull right to anyway. I won't explain it to you. I just said well, but right here I've got Jack, Chat GBT integrated into it. So if I want to improve something or something, I can come right here. And this is my playground being charged because as a this is a developer app. And I have Chat GPT 3.5 directly integrated inside of my developer app. Everybody following that. So if I was to if I was to charge, okay, Jana says she gets it. If I was, there's some things I want to put in, you know. Antonio, while you're looking, mm -hmm. um, if you sign up for it and you actually don't use it, you know, you just have it sitting there, do you get charged? No, ma'am. Monthly fee or anything? Mm -mm. The four, version -uh. four? Nah, just. That was the only just, reason I was going to do it, just in case. Just in case. It's a smart move. Just in case it's a real smart move. Absolutely. Just in case it's a real smart move. API means, well, it means application protocol interface, but API in layman's term means, Grace, that you are borrowing something someone else built and making your users have a good time with it. Let's go back to TikTok. I will show you. We're going to go back to the TikTok. Am I still sharing? I'm not sharing my screen, right, Grace? No. We're going to go back to TikTok's login. And I know I'm not logging to TikTok because I never use TikTok. Not that I don't love TikTok. I just cannot use TikTok and expect to have a life, which just doesn't work that way. I understand this. So here's TikTok right here, Grace. I got TikTok. rid of it here and all the China stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, don't, I never I used it anyway, so. Yeah. Salam salam. Jamaru chinda tasalu. Kali alom bichay tamalkatu. Miki thala yal. Andi ki anta bi gabo. Asr ki manta bi gabo. Tiktok. Aunda mosan ta gabtale ch. Asr asus na tapse disgabtale ch. Let's say sarra lena thambara mena mi. Yeah yeah. I I hear you loud and clear. I I just I don't I don't trust the news of the government. So they always saying something. Let's see. Well, well, there we go. Right here. Every last one of these are API. This is an API for a QR code. This is API. Oh no, this is actually a form. This is a form. This is API for Facebook. This what this means is that same video you just watched. I, I can't show you my API because it would then show you my tokens or stuff. I mean my 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 keys, and you can't you can't see that. But what is what this is saying, Grace? It's simple. It's saying I can either build Facebook, but why would I do that? Facebook has this API documentation that allows you to use a lot of Facebook features like log in and share to Facebook. So you can't just share to Facebook without having an API there. You have to have Facebook's permission to share to Facebook. You have to have Facebook's permission to log in from Facebook. You get it? 
So, but they already giving you that permission. So if you come right here and put Facebook API documentation, then here you're gonna have meta developer documentation. This is developer talk now, but look, all of this, everything here, Facebook is giving you permission to use all this. You didn't even know Facebook had a had a artificial intelligence. Here's your social integrations, Facebook groups. You can put this on your website. Log in, con connect with Messenger. All of this is Facebook is giving you permission to use. So when you come here to games, then you, it's going to then tell you how to, right? You, you click these things and it'll tell you how to use it. So what I'm saying is once you get here, Facebook has said, oh, you want to log in? No problem. If you put this code in your code, people can log in using Facebook. That being said, this is where you pay attention. You can do the same thing with ChatGPT. This is why I kept telling you I don't worry about them charging. They're charging me. They're not charging you. They're charging developers. They're charging developers. They're not charging you. It's, kind of, it's the same model as Facebook. It's free for you. It's not free for me because I advertise on it. They're not charging customers. They're charging, well, you're not a customer. They're not charging products. You, they're charging customers, me, advertisers. Everybody follow? All right. Hopefully, y'all not doing that. This is my breakthrough. Let me go cook some eggs real quick. I mean, unless you're Damali and you got five kids, I get it, something like that, right? I don't know how many kids. Damali ain't got five kids. I always give her five kids. I she think she got five. four. I think it's yeah, four. <laughs> yeah, I get I that. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so on um, Mid Journey, right? Okay. I got a membership, I think it is. You should, because you're charging them, they're charging you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now they asked me to start doing a test of the pictures that they, they that they wanted to do something with for the number B4 something okay. that they wanted to do. So will I be being charged for that through my membership? I doubt it if they asked you for the test. I doubt it, but okay. but move with caution. Read all around, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read all around. But I doubt it. I mean, okay. yeah, I remember these are companies that are not trying to get in the class action lawsuit, so they're not going to do something. It's not worth it. It's not worth getting $13 out of Janice and losing $13 billion in a grand jury. It's just not worth it. It's, it's, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Don't make any sense. Okay. Got yeah. It. Cool. Thank you. No, no problem. So this is API. So there's some things I was I paused. Susan kind of saved because I was going to say too much. But I have some apps that I want to put inside of Allenbrook as time goes by. One of those is a mental health app. So what I want you to do is let me let me see what I mean. it's worth talking about Jerome. Let me type in mental health and see if it'll come up. Yep, right here. All right. So well, one of the things I want to do is right here, Jerome. Well, it was it's two things. I put them back to back. Put it right on there. There we go. Well, it's three things. All right, there you go. I put three, I thought about y'all three different ways. Grace, look at how, once you read, this is three, th oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. Damali, you was finna say something. I, I, I saw you catch your camera on, because I keep giving you five kids. I, I want to hear what she was going to say. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just letting you know I was listening and multitasking, even though you- Oh, I already know. You, you got it. Them <laughs> kids is up. It's spring break. You got to cook, clean, uh, with, with, be, bewitch, do the twinkle, twinkle with the nose, and then make stuff appear. You know, you got to do all sorts of stuff. I get that. You know, if you got little kids, you ain't got no choice but to multitask because they might burn the house down. 
And I'm not telling you not to multitask. I'm just hoping that you're not doing the, oh, here's my breakthrough. Got to use the restroom now. Or, oh, here's my breakthrough. Nah, I'm more of, man, I wish I would have listened to the first 15 classes because this is way over my head right now. <laughs> right, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it down here in a second. When I talk about Oliver, I'm going to bring it. Actually, I'm doing it right now. I'm talking about Oliver, so it's coming, it's coming down. That was all developer, but you need to know it. You need to at least be exposed to it. You don't need to understand it. You just need to know that there's a nerd out there that you can hire like me that keeps you at a competitive advantage. And I'll give you a great idea. Grace, do you understand? What percentage of what I've said this morning do you understand? Maybe one. And is this conservative or is this, are you being generous with the 1%? I'm probably being generous. <laughs> okay. So we're going to say one thousandth of a percent, man. You know? There you go. There, there you go. go. It's just... Wait, what does that look like if <laughs> if that was money, Grace? What does one thousandth of a percent look like? Oh my God, is it is it four zeros point? Okay, a, de- a decimal four zeros and a one. I think yeah, so. So it doesn't even look like nothing. Oh you no, no, yeah, ten hundred thousand. Oh, it's, it's two zeros and a one. Yes, uh-huh. yes, sir. Antonio, what I learned was Chat GPT is already smart, and they're trying to make it smarter. That's all I learned. That, you know, Jerome, that's it. You caught the lesson. Thank you so much, Joe. Jerome. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, what I that's what I got too. That's what I got too, Uncle Jerome. <laughs> Susan say, coolest nerd ever. I appreciate you. <laughs> Can but, I say this? Yes, please. Um, there are several things that I have definitely learned from uh just just showing up. And that is um being able to push through to get breakthroughs and actually see them and actually believe and know that they will work. And that is those three things that I put before you and to be able to go on the journey. Mm -hmm. I would have never been able to do that had I not been, you know, listening and just showing up. Right. Because I I go extremely slow and it's it's extremely (laughs) aggravating for me, but just to put the pieces together and it's a lot of stuff I still have not accomplished yet, but it's like giving me so much, so much hope if that makes sense and so much belief and trust that it's it's coming regardless of how slow it's coming. So being able to um, show up and listen and believe that this is a ATS to me is is a system within itself. If that it, it's really no, it's difficult no, it's for me to explain, but I see how it has brought me from one place to the other and then from the other place to the other. And like I said, there's still things that I have not accomplished yet, but I know that it's going to happen regardless mm-hmm. of how slow I'm going. So yeah. Just wanted to put that in while y'all was talking about. No, that. no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Let me, let me, let me, let me address you, you slow moving people. To get Antonio, to yes, sir. Um, before we get off, mm-hmm. if you get a chance to give Sandra an opportunity to finish what she started yesterday, because we couldn't finish talking about her granddaughter. Oh, um, yes. So, but show I'm enough. talking about at the end. But show yeah. enough, show enough, show enough, thank, show enough. Thank you, thank you, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try to move that up as soon as possible. If you let me let me let me address, I want to address quality and I want to address two things. If you multitask and so be it, multitask away. That's that's not my point here. I just want you to be careful how much you're allergic to your breakthrough. If you're on medication like Deanna, if you're cooking for four hungry kids that eat every single day like Damali. That's not multitasking. That's being human or mother. You you understand? It is what it is. If anything, reality. Yeah, it's a reality. (laughs) If anything, we put them in a closet for the time. (laughs) (laughs) For real. (laughs) If anything, we lucky that you here. Yeah, you know, we lucky that you here. I'm not talking about that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That when Grace used to hear something go, well, I'm sleepy now. Right? It was but only on the thing that she needed that required, you know, she don't do that no more. But that, 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 that's that thing. That's that thing. Or for me, it's 
oh, here's my breakthrough. Let me get on my phone and build something real quick while you're talking. No, that's me saying I'm allergic to my breakthrough. Now, for people like Sandra, Damali, Susan, Deanna, Janice, S and Brenda, okay. People like y'all who are slow, and Jerome, I got to put Jerome in there, who are slow producer things. And sometimes you get distracted and you do this here. You're not slow. You have, every time you produce something, it has the best quality than everybody else. And, and an insect gets pregnant and pops out a baby in two days. A human, different quality of, of energy, takes nine months, 10 months, right? 40 weeks. An elephant takes two years. This, an elephant is pregnant for two years. Can you imagine Grace being pregnant for two years? Well, some women are pregnant for four years. Pregnant, had a baby, get right back pregnant. Had a baby, get right back pregnant. Had a baby. God, God bless those women. God bless they are heroes. You understand? I couldn't be pregnant for four minutes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. The first time I got to throw up, it's over. Everybody, take care of me. I ain't doing nothing no more for the next nine months. But It's yeah. awful. <laughs> it's worse than the flu. I bet it is. Sickness and all that. I bet it is for sure. So, yes, yes, you are slow, but your quality is fantastic. The quality is fantastic. So just, just be encouraged there. Now, Grace, this is the developer thing. That's what you heard. We're going to bring it down now. We're bringing it down. We keep moving towards Arlenbrook. Grace, if you can read number 37 for us, this is what I'm, this is what I desire to use chat GPT 3.5 for. And it's for people. It's, it's for a different community. Read it, Grace. Use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo to generate personalized horoscopes and astrology readings for Arlingbrook users. All right. Oh. Uh -huh. See, see, look, exactly. I caught Diwali's attention. Anybody like Diwali? It is exactly like Phil likes it. Like all, anybody that likes that stuff. Because, like, while you're on, while you're surfing the web on Arlingbrook, you can get you an astrology reading, or you're in the group. And now you you got a private Facebook group and everybody can get theirs and then like Phil and Susan, you dissect what's going on. You're the leader dissecting it. We already use computers for this stuff anyway. Might as well just do it right there. But know that every time you do that, Grace, it's going to charge my playground. So that's something that I would have to make for subscribers. The eight ninety nine. You, 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 you kind of get what I'm saying? For the eight dollars and ninety nine cents, I would have to make it for subscribers because you're paying, you're charging me, so I have to offset that. But it doesn't mean I need to charge you eight ninety nine for each one. No, it's, it's like Amazon Prime, Damali. Eight ninety nine gets you exclusive content. Since you're paying eight ninety nine, get this for free. All right. It's like Amazon Prime. Like, hey, get these benefits for free because you are already doing it. You got me, Grace? And of course, I could say up to 100 astrologies per month and I can code it in there, you know, to do that. But 100 is more than enough. 100 is more than enough. All right, Grace, would you read number 38, please? This is my favorite one, Jerome. When I was thinking about Black people. I'm not going to lie to you. I was. Implement a chat-based therapy and mental health assistant powered by ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo to provide users with personalized support and resources. Read it again, Grace, because I was so enough to think about Black people on this, and I promise yes. you I was. Implement a chat-based therapy and mental health assistant powered by ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo to provide users with personalized support and resources. All right, let me explain. This is for everybody. What? Minute. Yes. Wait a yes. minute. Yes. Doesn't that go in what you're helping me to do? Uh -huh. That's like, oh, oh, oh yep. my God. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay, sure okay. Is. 
Yeah. The reason this is for obviously mental health is for everybody, but mental health is such a bad thing in the black community, isn't it, Jerome? Oh, such a bad thing. It's such a bad thing. And it, well, we've got reasons for it to be a bad thing. First off, let's just deal with what you talking to white folk for about your problem. They don't understand your problem. That's number one. We can just go there, right? <laughs> we can just go there. And then the second would be take it to the Lord, right? That's another thing. Or my favorite, Jerome, what's happened is this house stays in this house. <laughs> so we got so many different reasons. But really, being Black in America is to be born with post-traumatic stress syndrome. We're born with it. We come out the womb with it, epigenetics. So we literally need therapy. <laughs> and so, so, so I was definitely thinking Immediately. About Immediately. <laughs> yes. yes. We are born with it. We're absolutely born in therapy. So I was thinking about that. How can I make it more, not accessible, but cool to use? You know, cool to use. There's a lot of, no, you take it out of just black, but I was definitely thinking about black, but let's take it out. Now, now you bring it to children. A lot of kids who get bullied at school can jump in their private messenger, like Discord, a little bot. And you get the the Arlen bot, you know, and you know you have a friend to walk you through being bullied or something. I I don't know. I haven't developed it yet, but it's on my list to do so. But no grace. Every time you use that, it's going to charge me. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. You went like really, really, really fast. I need a speed bump right there. I need a speed <laughs> bump. Right there, okay, because mm -hmm. I know you're going to hold what you got because you got wisdom like that. But listen, mm -hmm. listen, Antonio T. Smith Jr. So, yes, ma'am. Okay, so what you just said, right, I got to send you the other part of what I started working on. Girl, your book going to take <laughs> three months to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not part of the book it's part of the other oh the game the game gotcha oh, okay my god because okay. i want to deal with each level of person that's in there yeah fair enough. so oh my god i okay i'm a, is it okay that i it's, 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 it's perfectly that, okay perfectly okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, it, that's the point i was bringing up earlier for us for susan and Grace is building an app, and I don't know if y'all heard Susan. For someone I personally know that Susan was talking about me, right? Grace is building an app. Sandra's building an app. Susan's thinking about an app, and ain't now one of y'all got to actually build it. But being exposed to that video this morning gives the mind idea. Go, okay, it's in there, and then one day somebody's going to say something. Like, you know what? That reminds me of something I saw. On the morning call, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get somebody. I could do that app. That's what she's gonna say, and then she gets credit for that. Right now, Law is building a vegan meetup app. Ain't did one line of code. He's the CEO, and the code is his because he paid for every last line. You hear me? Let me tell you something. If I pay for it, it's mine. I don't care what it's. Old man say I follow. Okay, my do money. you remember me saying? You remember me saying Antonio T. Smith Jr. is is probably about a few months ago. I said, uh, I'm gonna need somebody to take care of my money. You that's take what, care of my money. Uh, that's exactly what Grace does. <laughs> you're, not, you're not missing me on that one. I do understand. All right, so we get a good idea. Let's talk about Arlenbrook now. This is 39, but we're 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 releasing. So I've got a meeting with Phil and Susan here in like 12 or something. I don't remember time. I just know it's soon. So I'm going to knock out a couple of birds in one stone. I'm going to give y'all what's coming. And so they can ask other questions besides that. And then tell y'all what you need. Um, Grace, you have my agenda. Can you remember I, I put away up there at the very beginning? Yeah, repost that agenda. So I'll just scroll up. I know I should be on Arlenbrook right now, though, if, if I'm going right. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, there it is right there. Yep, chat GPT, Arlenbrook, what am I selling to him? Arlenbrook offers two subscriptions, just two. It, it'll stay like that for a while. The $8.99 subscription. Now it is $8.99 per creator you want exclusive assets to. 
It's no different than, you know, Instagram or whatever. So if you want exclusive access to five different creators, it's $8.99 a piece because those creators are getting 40% of that income. And the prize, your fans. And then people, only fans are doing it anyway. From that subscription. How many creators? Oh, as many as you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, as many as you want. I was just, I just threw out number four. But as many as you want. I'm sure there's people on Instagram, right? I'm sure people are only fans. It ain't just looking at one naked person. Because what's better than the naked person? Another one. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Stay that out there. Just go, oh, I just want this one naked person. That's it. Nope. It's an addiction. And nobody wants one addiction. <laughs> let me just let me just get one hit of cocaine. That's it. Just one. Just, just give me one. No. No, I need this whole key bump. <laughs> you, you, anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all saved. That used to make my money. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll take your Cadillac. <laughs> so we <will. laughs> give me this whole Cadillac. Grace, well, $8.99 is a proper where proper way to to do this. And I was talking to Trinace. I'm still helping her with her stuff. And and this is well, this is what made me bring this up. I wanted to bring it up the other day, but I didn't. Is she's getting she's getting a book done. And so is Jerome. And so is Susan. I mean, yeah, yeah, Susan. And so is Paula. Not Paula. Sandra. And so is, you know, some other people. So now. What you gonna do now? See, the power here is, Jerome, if you first to Allenbrook, it kind of makes you the first celebrity on Allenbrook in your category. If you cannot be first to a category, then you invent a new category and be first there. So I really need y'all now, please, Lend me your ear while you multitasking for what I'm about to say. It's in the 22 Immutable Laws of Mark Branding. The customer can only hold two brands in their head. That is it. All of y'all by now you've seen the YouTube video or the blog post that says seven chat GPT things better than chat GPT. Mm-hmm. It's a lie in itself because you wouldn't say better than chat GPT if it was actually better than chat GPT because the customer's brand, mine, can only handle chat GPT. I'll explain even better. When I say something like, so what's that, Grace? Oh, it's like the Netflix of books. Okay. Do you remember the book company name? No. But you remember Netflix. Grace, let's play a little game. Hot. Cold. Okay. Huh. She could have said anything she wanted to say. Up. Down. Mm-hmm. She could say anything she wanted to say. I mean, she, she could be facetious. Her brain's still going to think down. Coke. Pepsi. Well, not Dr. Pepper, Grace. No. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You never get no endorsements from Dr. Phil. Not the way you just did that. That was a, that was a real, no. Nah, <laughs> that. That's, no, no, that's, <laughs> that. that's not, that's not for us. That's not for us. I don't know who us is, and that's no, not on these lips. <laughs> no. Dr. Pepper's like fourth or fifth fighting for pennies. It's Coke, Pepsi. When the last time you had a Pepsi, Grace? Can you get this? Uh huh. I'll get it. Um, was it maybe three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, and that's. I'm gonna tell you, the last time I had a Coke was 19, probably no, a Pepsi was probably 2,200 and a number. And a number. And a number. Yeah. And a number. And that's only because Coke was available in that restaurant. Right. Right. (laughs) Yeah, in that stadium. It That's it. It was a Pepsi. <laughs> it was a, it was a Pepsi yep. The restaurant me and dad was at. They only right. sold Pepsi products. 
That's kind of my point, right? My point is the customer's brain can only hold two brands. It's true, right? Right now, if you say famous wrestlers who are actors, now it's just going to be two brands. The Rock, David Bautista. Oh, John Cena. John Cena, be, yeah, yeah, you do John Cena too. You do John Cena, right? It's going to, but most people, right? You're going to choose one, but The Rock's going to be there. And then you're going to put, all right. So it's just is what it is. So guess what? I'm trying to tell you, Jerome. I'm trying to tell you that you're going to be the first poet on Oliver. So what you going to do about it? I'm, I'm really making sense. I'm really making sense. And you got to capitalize off of that because other poets are coming. And when you're first, you don't need to be talented. You just need to be first and post a lot. Say less, say less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a poet coming behind Jerome that know how to do all the social media stuff. All of it. All of it. And Jerome had to do that. Jerome had Jerome could literally. Have all in Brooke, his Facebook thing. I mean, Facebook, his username could be all in slash poet. Can't nobody else take it. How can we be first? Well, you're already first. You're just waiting on me to give you the. Once I say, hey, here's the sign up, run for it. Run for it. And that's like, have I, hey, Antonio, uh-huh. have I already paid for a Pathfinder's uh, path? Oh, you did, sir. You did. You did. <laughs> and you said we ain't going to do that to whenever. Oh, uh-uh, no. no, no you, I, you're right. Give me. I want mine now. Well, this is free. So yeah, it's just free. <laughs> Oliver is free. You're right. So, so you're looking at seven to 14 days. I'm releasing an audiobook in seven to 14 days. Right? Just, just so y'all know, I, I am. I'm releasing an audiobook in seven to 14 days. Um, no, no less than, I keep saying less than 60. I really mean 30, 35. I'm adding security features right now. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Like error handling, and just, just I, I will I'll spare you for what that means, but just know that it's coming. So if you're saying so, if you're like the humor consultant, well, actually they don't have anywhere. They're a bad example. They don't. That's a bad example. They don't have to do anything. Um, if you're like, uh, yeah, go ahead, Grace, because the humor consultant is a bad example. Are you Are you gonna go? I heard you say two subscriptions. Are you gonna go over the second subscription? It's rhino Rhino Leg, the CRM. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jamali, you were you were you were gone. So I created a CRM that's full of artificial intelligence that actually go gets leads for you that has over 73 features that should cost about $16,000 a month. And if I was to release it to customers and it would cost it absolutely $297 a month, it's $45.99 a month. Yeah, unlimited users. You put your whole thing. It's got all, all the features. It, it's got all of them. It's things you just don't even know. A chat bot, it's got a chat bot on it. So it's $8.99 and $45.99. So that's it. That's, that's, that's the only two subscriptions. So if you're using Arlenbrook and you need a CRM, you can just do it right there. I made it one of the world's best. It's completely powered. The whole thing is written in artificial intelligence language. The whole thing. I don't, I just not, a, you know, the whole thing. Those two things there. So let's so using human souls as a bad example. Using the human souls as double dipping is a good example. So let's talk about double dipping. I want to talk about double dipping because now it's a back to a good example. So the human consultants are going to have to figure out, but what exclusive content are we going to do? And that's going to be eight ninety nine. They give something like three fifty from it. Whatever forty percent of eight ninety nine is, it's like three fifty, three three. It's like three fifty. I think I got a processing fee in there of. One percent. I don't know, whatever it is, right? But it comes out to about three, three dollars, three, three fifty. So now, because because what, what the human consultants are going to do, they're going they're going to get paid just from all the book existing, but then they get the double dip. They get the double dip too. Like their their subscriptions is their subscriptions. That has nothing to do with me. So if they wind up getting a million dollars in subscriptions, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's Congratulations, God's been good to y'all. That's got nothing to do with me, right? That's, 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 that's got nothing to do with me. Right? That's nothing to do with me at all. It, it has nothing to do at all because that's just their, them on their own merit doing that. But what are you going to sell exclusively? Now, of course, in their case, I got 
thousands and thousands and thousands of things of content. They could do that. And plus they got still more. Maybe, maybe, maybe the Bureau of Dominant Speakers, I sound it's called no more, but you get what I'm saying. Maybe that is the exclusive content. Who knows? Maybe the Tuesday call is now $8.99. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe the Monday. I don't know. It ain't for me to decide. I'm just trying to get you ideas. Like if you're teaching like them, it is it costs you nothing to make those Zoom calls exclusive content. Just trying to get this, I'm just trying to get you to see that you really need to be thinking about this and you need to think about this now. You hear me, Deanna? I know you, I know you're sick and stay sick. Keep your camera off. I, I don't know, I don't mean you're not hearing me, but I do I, you need to hear that if you are not in medicine sleep. But, well, but the reason the reason I'm saying she needs to hear it. No, you had to cut your camera. No, no, no. You stay in medicine sleep. But did you did you hear what I said though? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you really hear that? I love you, Donna. You, you look like feel better. You look like you got yeah. five headaches at one time. <laughs> like all five headaches. Yes, you were talking about the subscription services and how to. Yeah, yeah, you were done. You ain't got to. I, I wasn't testing you, but you need to hear that. You need to be thinking about what you're charging eight ninety nine for. Don't wait until it is out. You, I'm, I'm giving you an advantage. This okay. is not on some. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. One five and nine, eight ninety nine. Go. So no, we go talk. We go talk about. We go that's talk about. that's 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 what I'm trying to. All right. That's. I'm. Trying. Let me try it again, Jerome. Mr. Smarty, Mr. Smarty, before yes, you continue, sir. means you got my brain spinning. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, glad because on my website I'm going to do a monthly prescription for my poetry. Now, how do I how do I get that over to Audible Book? Because there's going to be more people on Audible Book than on my website. Yeah, you add, you add elements to it, no doubt. That's, that's so okay, Jerome. You're now getting what I'm saying. <laughs> you're now getting what I'm saying, Janice. You have no incentive to push ten thousand dollars a month in marketing for your website, but Allen Group is starting that way. If let me let me just show y'all, uh, Dion. I'm so, uh, I'm so sorry. In fact, I need y'all to, Deanna and Grace, I need you to resend me those numbers just real quick. I had y'all do the marketing numbers that we're starting off with. Remember, Grace, I had you compile the Forbes and all that stuff, and I had you compile. If y'all can resend that to me, whatever you did it, but please tell when find it real quick. Give me your total, Grace. Deanna, give me your total. Send it to me because it's very important hold on i'm gonna I'm I'm hold questions just real quick because and hopefully i did save it if i did i will show it to you i know i meant to go save it they're going to send it back to me as soon as y'all find y'all numbers please send to me that but i need you to say it out loud for everybody to hear what we are talking about because Jerome hit the nail on the head. So while they doing that, Jerome, oh, go ahead, Diana, you're unmuted. My number is 981,700. Thank you so much. If you could, you just sent that to me. I appreciate you. Nine hundred. Oh, you, 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 even, you even gave me the, the totals. Each, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you so much. And I'm going to share this on the screen too, okay? Just so they can see. Thank you, Dan. Do you don't if I call you again, just ignore me. Don't even just just ignore yeah. me. All right, there you go. You just ignore me. Grace, you're looking for your number still, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on. Yes. We're gonna call this. I'm gonna call this note, Jerome. Actually, I'm gonna create a folder. Call it marketing. Just hold on, y'all. Just be be. Let me be boring for a second. And then we're going to call this marketing. And then in this note, we're going to call this <laughs> AB. That's my little thing for all the group. AB <clears throat> initial marketing. Bam. I will show this on the screen. And I'm going to wait to Grace. You got me. You got me yours, Grace. 
No, I'm still looking forward. Trying Don't worry, to worry not. <clears throat> worry not. Relax. Worry. You'll find it. You'll find it. Uh, type in dollar sign. Go now search and type in dollar sign. I'm sure you would have put a dollar sign next to it. That might help. No, it's right here. No, 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 subscription stuff. All right, you do that because I need to, I need to talk. So when Jerome just said, when Jerome just said, well, there's going to be more people in the Brook. All right, all right. This is what I'm talking about, Damali. Remember I told you I was going to bring it back down, Damali, when I told you about Brook. This is now everybody understands this conversation. Everybody excited. You know, Damali and I said, hold on, eggs, stop cooking. You know, well, she probably won't eat eggs, but you know what I'm saying? You, you get it. So, hold on. So right here. <clears throat> For print articles, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, that is that is pretty low. Hold on. There we go. Should be a little easier for you now. All right? Is that a little better? Did that do better first? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, good. For print. $287,000. Music, $32,000. Top tier. This means Forbes, Yahoo, CNN, Fox. Now, and I don't mean like Fox. You know, you'd be like, you know, when you're a professional speaker, like, oh man, I was featured on Fox today. Nope. I'm not talking about Fox, Channel 6, local news. No, 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 no. I mean, Tucker Carlson, Fox. Fox, that's three hundred seventy-two thousand, and all of these. I found my number, sir. When you read it, right. there you go. Well, you go go on, send it to me and line up. I all did. Right. Okay, thank you. Now tell them what the number is. I allow. The total is one hundred nine thousand eight hundred ninety-nine dollars. Okay. Did you know what first text means, though? First, you sent you sent stuff to me in. Mm. Can you combine those texts though? Do you can you you ain't got to do that at this moment? <clears throat> um, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Relax. You ain't let me down. I know you, I know you feel that way because you, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, relax. That's all good. <clears throat> there it is right here. I sent us some text messages, and that's what oh, it is. It was, it, you sent me publications in different in different text messages. Right. Were, okay, so I can, yeah. 109,000. So that's a million dollars to roll. $1.2 million. This is initially. So now, this is your so this is your marketing budget initially? Is yes. What you're saying? Yes. Absolutely. Because we're not just releasing all in group. No. It's two things that we're doing. Number one, I done contacted 40 something different celebrities. They coming over here ASAP. Oh, I ain't playing no games. I watched what they did with NFTs. Me too. Me too. Snoop Dogg, get your blankety blank over here. Me too. Okay. I'm doing that first. Immediately. Now imagine when music celebrities start coming over. When you start getting paid more for being on Honor Brook than you are on tour and your album, it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Forty <laughs> percent, <laughs> and they bring their followers with them. Over, all right. So that's number one. It's my first play. I already, I didn't, I didn't talk to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm, I want a name drop. It's over. That's number one. Number two. Then I want to. Now this is uh, this is from a black mind perspective, and I really want you to hear this. If you're not black, because it applies to you even more, especially if you're a woman. I'm going to say it gently. It's not bad, but it's it's one of those. I'm a, I got to hit your auto suggestion in your program. And it's kind of difficult. Grace, you ain't got to worry about it. Look, if you do it anyway, you're so you're such a good woman, Grace. It's just, oh, my God, I let him down. She over here, she over here fixing it. Grace, you're so full of the Lord. Your parents did a good job with you, Grace. <laughs> so we go wait until she stopped panicking over there so she can hear this here. <laughs> I'm, you, you might do it on the do it on the mic. Do it on the mic. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the fourth yeah. text to you in my app. <laughs> <laughs> 
she could <laughs> that's a, that's my fault about it because suggestions don't come off as suggestions for me and so let me there you go there you go come on we, we waiting just look at her she go she can't relax until it's done it is, you, you look like a school teacher right now yes Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Look, 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 look at it. That's okay. Ah, back to happiness. <laughs> yeah, right now, Grace. You can I'm think that. You can yeah. think that. <laughs> Everybody needs a grace. Everybody needs a grace. Thank you. Yeah, Hello, clap for grace. Come on, let's give us some let's give us <laughs> that po baby. No doubt. <laughs> po baby. Okay. <laughs> then the second thing is. From a black perspective, but this is a real deal business, though. I just need you to understand it applies to all of you. But I understand it more than most people because I am a black man. And it is not until the white man, no offense, comes to Damali and say, oh, she's a winner. Do her community buy from her? And I know that sounds tough. Now, I don't mean no disrespect, but it is the actual fact of this life. You can be a white woman all you want to, until the white man comes and say, ah, trust Susan, nobody. You got to remember, Hillary Clinton never got the let's go with her from the white man. No, 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 no. You're right, because no, because if she did, no. she'd have won. If she did, she'd have won. White people stopped messing with that white woman. This is why she lost. Black people voted for her. But who did get that? Give him a chance, right? So come on, Obama. Obama. But, well, but yeah, but then then you know, yeah, then yeah. Trump. oh, and then yeah, Trump. yeah, oh, yeah. No, but no, both, 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 both. Can you see what I'm talking about? Don't. I'm not making it about race, but I do need you to get some stuff. It's just so true that we we're not allowed to pretend it's not. Just because it makes you uncomfortable doesn't mean it's not true. And I'm just I'm not trying to alienate white men. I'm saying they are the standard of approving if this is trustworthy. I, I give you a great example of this happening right now. The banking system is so trash that they cannot wait to talk about cryptocurrency. But the same way a coin goes bankrupt, so does a bank. And then you're supposed to be FDIC insured. But that is, first off, you should never trust an insurance company a day of your life. 2008, should have taught you that. It was banks, insurance companies, an automobile industry that got bailed out. Insurance companies are just deeply rooted. <clears throat> Medicine wouldn't even cost that much if it wasn't for insurance companies. Anyway, just don't, don't mind me. So you, you gotta understand that not only does it, not only is Silicon Valley Bank an FDIC problem too, that's not gonna get talked about like the way it should. But the mere fact that a bank only has to hold 10%, 15% tops of its money in reserves and it can invest the rest of it <clears throat> tells you the whole system is jacked up. We had, they just went through a Black Tuesday. That's what caused the Great Well, and then it caused the Great Depression, but it's what caused the Great Depression back in 1929. That's what happened. But you're not going to hear nothing about that because White man says banks are good. It just says what it is. But then we get on the same news thing and say we need crypto regulations. But the reason why Bitcoin doesn't have this issue is because white man says crypto, Bitcoin is good, not crypto. Bitcoin and Ethereum is fantastic because you got Tesla and Microsoft, all invested in it. The rest of them, are, eh. so remember that, because if you think for one second that me making sure one point two million dollars 
of every major white owned publication in the on the planet raising our hand ain't part of the process you're not paying attention listen to what i said if you want to reach black people go to celebrities Is this offensive? It, is, or am I just too brazen with these facts? Which is some, it is, it is what it is. That's, you're right. If you want to reach young people, go to celebrities. If you want to reach baby boomers, go to white men. I don't. I, I'm genuinely have struggling to see the problem here. It's not. It's not so offensive to me. But you know, I can only see through my raw eyes. I'm not saying this as a bad thing. I'm accounting for the program in Damali. And I have I, I feel no way about it. So if I said something and you feel a way about it, just account for the program. I feel no way about this. I'm not, I don't, this isn't a plus, nor is this a minus. I don't care either way. I'm just saying that Phil and Susan are going to benefit from Allenbrook along with Deanna and grace myself because I've accounted for this programming. My job, I got one job left, is to make sure that whatever me, Deanna, and Phil and Susan talk about today don't actually matter. That's my only job. I'm not saying not to be taken seriously. I'm not saying not to be executed. But Grace, my job is to make sure that that was just for fun. Because I'm supposed to release Arlenbrook so well, so much money came in. Susan, I know we was going to talk about this, but here's an extra $10,000 bonus for no reason at all. We had an extra growth for no reason. How was that not my job? I don't want to, like, I feel like I'm spitting facts. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. My job is to make sure whatever plans Grace come up with don't matter because I would have built something so stable, nothing matters. I guess the easy way to say this is... That, that is good. Yeah. If you're going to have a meeting with me about money, or about making money, but I feel like my job should be, let's make so much money, we don't need to have meetings about making money. Now I understand what you're talking okay, about. Okay, you understand what I'm saying now. All right, maybe I should have said that way the first time. That's somebody has to think that way. <laughs> like you don't say it, somebody has to think that way. Like I've got Phil and Susan and and you know, Phil, they tied, they're not tied into what they do. They're tied into we exist. Run us our golden parachutes. A golden parachute is a golden parachute. Yeah. They didn't put in their work. You understand? But all right. So today's meeting is about work. My job is about no work. So if I can spend, if I can take $1.2 million and say, hey, Forbes, tell everybody we're making people rich. Hey, Snoop Dogg, tell everybody we're making people rich. Hey, Floyd Mayweather, tell everybody we're making people rich. If y'all don't understand what I'm saying, I'm trying to do this so tough feel that the one of the, I haven't told nobody this, I haven't told anybody this, but I'm going to tell y'all, paying out 40% is better than Showtime, UFC, or any pay-per-view can do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to have UFC, Showtime Boxing, streaming exclusively on Allenbrook. Y'all not, my, my, oh. What I cut, what I, what I said, I was like, didn't I didn't say way ahead of my time. It was something like this, Grace. What at the time? What's, what's today's topic, Grace? Because I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't joke when I said that. Yeah, today's topic is way ahead of our time. Okay. Oh, is way ahead of our time. I mean, 
if Floyd, if Floyd, Floyd Mayweather know he can make three hundred million dollars in in ninety minutes, imagine what he can do when all of them too can double that. I'm trying to have Beyonce do a Coachella here. There is no way on the planet that somebody, Ticketmaster puts these absurd charges on here. Say, Beyonce, tell us what you want your ticket to cost. Remember, and that's not the first time I said this. It's not, I said this before about building ATS TV so big. I just merged all these ideas together. And I want to say, Obama, if you want to come over here, man, we're going to take care of you. Know, if you can teach a business class or something. It's nothing for us to charge. $8. Beyonce, I believe that we can get 20 million people to watch you. It's only going to cost $8. Out of that $8, you get $3.56. Grace, show up the calculator. I, don't, I have no idea what $350 times $20 million is, but that number, you're going to have to turn sideways if it's on your cell phone. And that I know. I know it ain't going to be straight up and down. You're going to have to turn it side. It might say 10E81256 and all that stuff. Yeah, they need to fix that. All these updates they give us and never put commas. What is that, Grace? Never put commas. Wow. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here. 70 million? 70 million. I don't understand how somebody would have a problem making $70 million in one night. They won't. And it's not impossible. I'm not saying something that's impossible. I'm just telling you, Facebook can't do it. LinkedIn can't do it because their money is driven in advertisement. If they did it, they would mess up their revenue models. Since I'm coming up front saying, up top, ain't no advertisement. This is free, but we have a paid subscription model. Ain't nobody mad now. If Facebook puts out their eight dollars and ninety nine cent for something, y'all will get mad as soon as as soon as Netflix said we're gonna put ads in our stuff. Y'all got mad and left Netflix. I'm starting off this way. I'm starting off this way. There are no ads that you got to pay for. I may run ads. There's gonna be company ads though. You gonna see these? Oh no, you gonna see these? Well, you are gonna see the human consultants? You gonna see it? Think I'm lying. You go so every Monday night, you're gonna see a, a 15 second commercial in the middle of your video talking about joining a human consultants call. If I can do it, God dog it. You're gonna see, you're gonna see company ads. You just not gonna see, you know, Coca-Cola ads, but you're gonna see what we doing. You know, what I look like, Jerome, having a platform and not putting it in your face. You crazy as hell. You, you know me. Get down or lay down. <laughs> you're gonna learn about this Kenochi, God dog it. One way or the other, you you gonna get that. <laughs> it just ain't coming from y'all. It's coming from the company. But since we got a forty subscription, forty percent subscription model, the the if you look at the code, it says where the creator can get paid more than the platform. That's the tagline for All in Book, and it's true, and it's in the code. It is in the code, Grace. Forty percent. Period. Are you saying if we have a pro yes, I am. I ain't got to read the rest of that. Yes. That's why I'm having this conversation, Janice. Yes. And you need to seriously be thinking about how you are going to do with Jerome. Flesh and blood did not reveal that to him. When Jerome said, yeah, because all the books show go ahead. Yeah. I am making sure. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take care. I'm going to, I'm going to, boom, I'm going to feel Susan, do the down of grace, bam. And I'm whole, I don't need to eat. Don't need to right now. I just just give me give me some money for some cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not. I don't smoke cigarettes. You know I'm just talking about the old you know the old man talk. Here, baby, take my check. Just give me some money for some cigarettes. You know what I'm talking about, Grace. You know what I'm talking. About. You know that old man in them overalls. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just give me some money for some cigarettes, baby. That's it. That's all. I just give me some money for some cigarettes. I'm cool because I need this 1.2 million to go back out. Because you're talking about, and then, then the next thing I'm going to do, I promise you, I promise you, after I do that, I'm going after Gary Vee fast. 
I already know once we get attention, he's gonna come, but now that's what I want to do. I want Gary V to be one of them Budweiser commercials he did for Dwayne Wade, you know, somebody like that. Give me one of them emotional commercials. You know what I'm saying? You know how great study that, you know, I want I want commercials to make people cry. Right. Exchange want, his jersey for they oh, but they still work. Wait a minute. I want the do you know how many churches? Man, see this I'm trying to get y'all to see. Do you I got to be careful when I say this. But do you know how many churches are struggling to pay tithes? But people would pay $8.99 for exclusive content for that yep. church, a youth explosion? Come on, Grace. Yep. yep. Oh, y'all see. I had these churches making more for an event than they do all year in their tithes and offerings. Yep. I'm not think whatever you think I'm thinking, I'm usually not. I'm usually thinking way above that. And I'm absolutely thinking. A long time ago, I told you I wanted an event. I think I got it. It's in my because I don't want anybody to think, oh, well, you may have said that, Antonio. Hold on. Let's see. I sure hope it's in here. We're about to find out together. We're about to find out together. I'm sharing my note. I typed in WrestleMania. Let's see if this is. Oh, Rekaza. Rekaza. So that, that popped up. Let's see what's in here. Rekaza is alive and well. It's called Oliver. It's just not a network marketing company. <laughs> it's called Oliver. Let's see this here, Grace. Let's go. Let's see. Somewhere in here, I put a hatch out. I said, I came up with a bunch of events, Grace. And I said, what I want to do, nope, get famous, King Jesus, the global, get famous for my brand. Get, okay. Somewhere in here, Grace. Oh, yeah, 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 right there, right there. Look, look, look. Okay, look. On October 31st, 2022, I told y'all about building purchasable products. And right here, Grace, Read this. Create one of the most valuable live events in the world, something similar to Super Bowl, Summer Olympics. Is, do you say FIFA? Yeah, FIFA. FIFA. World Wrestle, no, yeah, World, yeah. Uh, WrestleMania, World Series, etc. Okay. This is what I'm on. Imagine having a billion users. And then you come up with a world event that people like, like FIFA, WrestleMania. And I'm not talking, see, but we got, we got, we got things. Maybe we have this big connoting off or something. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. But you get my point though, right? And I'm already working on these events. Watch this, Grace. Grace, I know it. Yeah, I know it. ATS week. WandaCon. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I've already been... I never say something that's not interconnected with something else I've said. I just have this way of not giving out all the information. Now, hurricane hits New Orleans, God forbid. Same incident. Celebrities, if you don't mind, can we take our 40% subscription model? Let's donate all of that to hurricane relief. Now, while we may lose a billion dollars that day, we're going to get a hundred billion back. Kamali, I'm way ahead of my time, man. It's exactly why I've made sure I've coded everything with no third parties. It's exactly why I went the hard route because I was telling my dad, he was like, well, why don't you just use the... And I was like, well, that makes sense, dad. But the problem is, I have to scale at their command. If I'm using the third party app that costs money, which is fine, now I can't scale until they decide this is what we'll be charging. And I'm okay with that if it's a fixed price, 
I'm not, I'm not necessarily okay with building my company around someone else's price. I'm not okay with that. I've done that before. It didn't work, so I don't do it anymore. Uh, one thing about me, Jerome, I would make a thousand mistakes, but I'm going to make them once. Now, I'm going to find a new thousand. Oh, shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a new thousand quick. You hear me? I'm going to find a whole new thousand real quick, but I ain't going to make them again. So I want you all, Janice, how does that pay for the description? This is exactly how the code works. The system captures Damali's information. Damali's the customer that says, I want to get exclusive content to Janice. Once it captures that information, just the, the I'm using Stripe as my bank provider or merchant. Stripe then holds that money and splits it in two. 40% of it goes in what you would call an escrow that's sitting right under your name. That's why you, as the user, have to put in your bank account details. And right now, I got it set up to two. ACH, that's automatic clearinghouse. Let me go straight to your bank. Could take up to five days because that's typically what it does. Or PayPal. Now, PayPal going to charge you 1% if you want a day. It ain't got nothing to do with me. That has nothing to do with me. But Or you can do it through PayPal. It will be clear. Those are the two ways you get paid out. Stripe or PayPal. But it happens after 30 days. It doesn't happen instantly. It happens after 30 days. It happens after every 30 days. Make it easy for me. And I haven't fully worked out people canceling the stuff. So I'm just waiting 30 days. All right. We're we'll waiting 30 days just for all the mistakes. It's also why I want to release the next 7, 14 days because I need y'all to start subscribing and selling so I can start fixing what needs to be fixed. <laughs> That's why I need to start fixing what needs to be fixed. So, so the humor consultants are a good example and a bad example. They don't have to do any of this because they're on the back end. Company does well, our salaries go up. It's just understood. But double dipping is a must. <laughs> it's a, it is a must. It is a requirement. So this is what this why this how it's not a network marketing company, right? Because it's not. No, there's no networking stuff. So now they say, well, so Susan goes, baby, let's, let's, honey, let's do a monthly subscription for this. And Grace, let's say Phil and Susan are making 30000 a month from ATS. I'm doing a good job. I can assure you they're making $30,000 a month. And, uh, it, the, the last five years has been worth it, Grace. I can assure you that... <laughs> I can assure you that's been worth it. But let's say they monthly subscriptions are making 60000 a month. I'm not going to say, oh, well, just take it out of that. No, they're now making 90000 a month, Grace. Is this making sense to you? Double dipping is a must. Double dipping is a must. I can assure you the first well, see, they, they, so how can I get in on all this? As soon as I, as soon as I give y'all the link, y'all gonna be the first people to get the link. It's it's gonna happen one of two ways. I'm gonna do it on this morning call, or I'm gonna have Grace message y'all. And when you see one of those things happen, it's it's on. It's on. You say you're gonna have a yearly option, right? For the people to be like, I don't want to stretch out. I don't want to do month to month. You know, I need to do that. I think you should. I, you know, you're right. I, I, I'm gonna need to update my code. You absolutely need to. Because the people like me who to. are not gonna be working in the summer are gonna use their check before the summertime to pay for the whole year. So you need to All do that. Right. All right. I'm glad you said something. I gotta. I'm redoing the code with executed features, and I haven't got to the subscriptions yet. So I will. That that's what'll happen, man. That makes sense. I did not think of it. Let's do it on the call so you can help us. Fair enough. <laughs> Tracy asks, when do you plan for the link to go out? Seven to fourteen days privately between us. Between between us, Mr. Smith. I don't see it on this call, Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. If you do that yearly prescription, are you sure you know what to do with that escrow money for a year? I'm gonna just pay you up front. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pay you all your business <laughs> up front. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hold it. That's gonna that's that's gonna create too much hell on my end. No, 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 no. You if you <laughs> look, that's a good question, Jerome. But if you get a year up front, I'm going to pay you a year up front. <laughs> you just going to get 12 checks at one time, Jerome. 
because ain't no way I'm holding that. That's too much hell. <laughs> I'll fool around and accidentally spin it, and now you ain't got no money. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh-uh. <laughs> Tracy's the one with the P that you see. That's, oh, okay, that's I see that. All right, all right. See, I, I, I we wouldn't really, really, really even look at. Yes, yes. If you get twelve months, you are gonna get twelve months checks immediately. <laughs> God dog it. We is not playing that game. Uh uh-uh. uh. And so like, oh man, person I don't know, don't have a relationship with. I accidentally spent your money on storage fees. Can you not sue us? Nope, that's not gonna happen. That's that's that's, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Take this dog on money right now. <laughs> Take it. And the crazy thing is, and this is speaking Phil's language, it's a 78% profit margin. The way I built it, 78% profit margin. The monthly subscription is 78% profit margin. The way I built it. The way I built it. The 40% comes out. So that's now 60%. But I'm talking about 78% of what's left. 78% of what's left. So you're talking about storage, taxes, Anything else left? Boom. 78%. Some of us at three or five dollars. 99 cents goes to the government, three dollars goes to you, five dollars goes to the company. It truly is where the creator can get played more than the platform. You have people like Big Job pulling in $40 million a month. And all it takes is one king batch to figure that out. And it's over. Over. It's over. It's over. It's absolutely over. So this is this is why I started with the API first. I'm trying to get you to see there's a lot of things that I'm doing that are going to be in there. But bringing that API conversation down, y'all got about 14 days. And let me let me let me. I'm saying this for the Dianas and the Melissas. Let me see. I'm gonna name Diana, Melissa, Susan. That might be grace. <clears throat> yeah, I need to hear this the most. You are people who don't necessarily operate in flow. Not necessarily. That doesn't mean you don't. It just means you don't necessarily operate in flow. You know, you you are gifted in strategicness and your Abundance comes from what you do. Phil don't have that problem. Phil just thinks money ought to fall in this lap. It's just, just a weird guy that just thinks that. That's just the way it works. So if this is you, hear me well, because that's a talent. I'm not saying that's not a talent, but hear me well. All the book cannot fail. This ain't no hope. This ain't no faith. Ain't nobody doing it. It's first to the market. It's not first ever. It's disruptive. There's not a single company out here paying creators 40% unless you're only fans. The reason why I have, I'm a, I, it won't start this way, but the reason there's, there's going to be a nudity ban on Arlenbrook has not not the reasons you think has not I, I mean I'd rather nudity than seeing black people get shot live on video I'd rather that than you know I, if I had to choose I'd choose boobies over blood if I had to choose right but just say it <laughs> but the reason I'm gonna do have the algorithm to the band is because I want to separate us from only fans not because I have a problem with that. Because I want to be number two. I want them to be number two. I understand that the human mind can only hold two brands. So when you say, man, I need to make money and all I got is my content, where should I go? I only want there to be two options. Me and somebody else. It's very strategic for me. It's very, it's very strategic for me. So I don't want to be an OnlyFans competitor. If I'm not, 
if we don't have nudity, we're not taken from OnlyFans. Now we both can exist. It's 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 the equivalent feel of of why. So if you if you go to New York or a lot of places actually, you'll see two major chain restaurants sharing the same building, like just sitting on top of each other. Well, it's 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 the game theory is what it's called. It's all right. So if you split out, depending on how you split, now you spend that money 25, 75. But if you get closer, you gotta split the money 50, 50. Nobody loses. Burger King don't lose, McDonald's doesn't lose because the traffic is traffic. They gotta go one place and they can choose now. You 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 help that. And I'm doing the same thing, that same game theory with OnlyFans. You get it? Oh, go ahead, Phil. Well, it's the same pr- concept that USA Today, the newspaper, did. They wanted to be America's second newspaper. See that? I mean, it's a lot of money in being second, Grace. A lot of money. It's, it's a couple, couple billion dollars. <laughs> a couple of billion dollars. That's it. Can y'all see it? Can can you see it? We we, we can't fail. It's impossible because. People want people want money. Like this is built around vanity. Let's make no excuse about it. This is built around the selfish need to take care of yourself. The only way that Arlen Brook fails is the United States government has to actually take care of y'all. That's it. The only way, Phil, the only way, well, two things have to happen. Internet has to just cease to exist. Like just stop. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to cease to exist and the government has to say Jerome we sorry you do need a pay raise minimum wage should be $30 an hour Jerome there should be a universal basic income if that happens Arlenbrook has a problem we do if universal, if universal basic income happens it'll eat into some profit because eh, I'm good, got what I need. But if that don't happen, is anybody expecting universal basic income to happen anytime soon? No. Anybody expecting the government to apologize for baby boomers? Or to say, Damali, you know what, we will we will let you have Social Security, Damali. Anybody expect that to happen? No. We're expecting that our, the White House to continue to act like the White House, right? Hey. Yeah. Well, I need the government to still act crazy for this to work. And I expect the government to still act crazy. I expect this to work. Because this is truly built for the middle class. And the middle class needs one. You have 500 people. Grace, what's 500 times 3050 cents? This is important. Because what I'm doing is I'm making sure you no longer have to focus on large audiences no more. Stop trying to be a millionaire when you can make ten thousand dollars a month for your content i don't know a single person grace who won't accept one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars a month for what they love to do i don't know either and i don't care who you are <clears throat> that's twenty one thousand a year yes that's school teacher salary that's nine dollars an hour at a fast food restaurant. Actually, that's way more than that, actually. Yeah, but, but think about that. For stuff you already do. That's it, y'all. I, I've got nothing else. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it make it simple for you. What was the third thing on that agenda, Grace? I'm not going to do it, but what was it? Hey, I, I want to just um, oh, add yeah, on I, to I, this. I yeah, go ahead. Because one, uh, one of the creators that I like to follow, um, so she's just very entertaining and open with her life, um, she one of the things she mentioned, like you said, is you know she she posted something that said basically that you guys got to stop worrying about having a million followers. There are so many people who have a thousand followers, followers or five thousand followers, making millions of dollars yeah. because they've built a community. They're not yeah. just putting the content out there, but they've actually built the community. Community, and like you said, you always respond to comments. They they respond to comments, they interact with the community and they've built the community. So whenever they put out products and things that help their community, which they know very well, it sells and they sell 500 of it and they only have 5,000 
followers versus a person with a million followers who can't sell anything because they don't have a real community. They just have people just following right. and not really engaged, you know? 100%. 100%. And I think Allenbrook is set up perfectly for, for that exchange of, you know, building your community and really giving them content that they, that they feel and enjoy and, and, and right. in their life. Right. Which is great. No, you're hundred percent. I took my classic advice. When I always say build around the one and two stars, all in the book is built around one and two star reviews, without a doubt. This absolutely I just said, let me get all these. And I said, all right, let's fix this, let's fix that, let's fix that, let's fix this. That's exactly what I did. Exactly what I did. I'm asking Tracy's question. But the uh, Molly book made me think about something. If you can simply focus on your own second and third sale, then you're no longer talking about $1,700 a month. The subscription is for your exclusive content. Who's to say you're not upselling in your exclusive content? Or who's to say the exclusive content doesn't take people to your website where you have more? You may do exclusive content about shea butter and then send them to your website to buy your shea butter. So we're not talking just about the 899. We just saying that the 899 is important. And let me, let me tell you why it's so important. It's so important, Grace, because I always tell I always teach y'all, get your money out of somebody else's economy. Well, when I pay you into your bank account, I put that in the system for you. Right now, in order for you to get paid, you need to keep people on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube page. You know, you need to keep people on YouTube and hope they keep watching your video. Not uh, not for all in Brook, because it's a different product. If we don't sell ads, Grace, it means the platform is actually the product. So I'm not selling your information, number one. So now when I have a real viable subscription model, I can do what I want. And people pay when they know they're getting what they want and they're not the product. So that's it. Can you explain when I get a subscription, what would be an example of what I would sell to get paid through all the book? Well, that, that's, that's difficult. <clears throat> Let me, I feel like it's two questions and I feel like I need to do a point of clarity. Tracy, as the creator, won't have a subscription. <clears throat> she would essentially be selling subscriptions. Now, that's not actually tr fair or true, but it is. Because you're offering exclusive access to your content. Everybody got what I'm saying? So there's a bit of sales there because you have to actually have some content. But I've taken most of the sales out the equation. I can't take all of it out because you got to actually say something. You got to actually post. But you don't have to worry about posting every day and getting hurt by the algorithm because it's 100% organic reach. See, these implications are powerful. <clears throat> but anyway, you don't have to worry about going viral because it's 100% organic reach. I took that out there too. Come on now, nice. <laughs> anyway, so now... Wait, wait, wait. So mm -hmm. what you're saying is when you join Arlingbrook up front, it's not a cost. No cost. Like Facebook, it's not a cost, but... If you're a creator, you can charge eight ninety nine for your exclusive content. Kind of like people That's who are correct. charging to be a part of their Facebook group right now. That's correct. Okay. Gotcha. That's correct. <clears throat> That's absolutely correct. All the book is free. It comes with every single feature, video, video calls, all that stuff. Talk to people in different countries, like Messenger, all that. All that comes with all of it. Live video, it comes with all of it. This is not an issue. Everybody understand? It's all free. It comes with every single thing you think. It's all free. The paid subscription is for 
the developers, in this case, the creators who want to offer exclusive content. What happens when video game creators realize that they can't make 40% on their video game selling at $59.99, but they can drop their video games down to $8.99 and come over here? Anyway. So now can the, okay, got to get my words right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can the game that is being done have a pre-game connected to the purchase of the book with sure. going, directing people to All in Brook for a pre-game? Sure, absolutely. Okay, okay. That absolutely. Sense. absolutely. I was wondering if I was thinking it out right because that's certainly what came are. to me. You certainly are. To answer the, to Tracy's second question, well, it was just one question, but I just I parsed that one out for clarity because it looks like the Molly caught it. So I would like be an affiliate. No, I think you're overthinking that. Um, technically, I guess you would be an affiliate. Technically, you would be an affiliate, but I, I think I, I I think the problem there is. And Mint Mobile just got bought by T-Mobile. So Ryan what? Reynolds. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. T tell me what that means, because I am a Mint Mobile person. I know that means you're on a T-Mobile network now. It still be Mint Mobile, but then on T-Mobile network it explains why my T-Mobile card works. Wow. All right. Let's. Here's Instagram. I'm gonna go to Persephone. Uh, 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 She's the only person I know. Does, does anybody else know anybody? Does anybody know anybody that gives exclusive content out on Instagram? All right, well, y'all get to see some eye candy because she's the only person I can think off the top of my head that has exclusive content. And God bless you because, sorry, but you'll be okay. So here is her page. And right here, how do you get to exclusive content? I don't know how. All right, so let's do this this way. Instagram exclusive content. There we go. Subscriptions. Call them subscriptions. Here is where the creator can build a deeper stuff with their community. Creators can go have stories that, you know, that only, that only their subscribers can see. And you get a subscriber badge. You get subscriber live stories and lives. You get subscriber chats to where only you can see these chats. You get exclusive posts and reels. You get subscriber home to where you, since you're a subscriber, you get special stuff. And you see how this is not an affiliate. It's paying for Amazon Prime or something, some different things. Same thing. Same thing with Oliver. Same thing. I get, I get the idea of affiliate because, like, if I was, it's y'all not doing this on purpose, but it's, it's programming. Since, since Forbes hasn't come and raised my hand, you think you were selling for me and making the company bigger, affiliate, and you get to get a piece of that. Because that's typically how that works. That's not what I'm saying. We're not playing that game. I don't want a single client or a single affiliate. If I'm building my business off an affiliate model, I still have clients. The platform is free. But if you want to have Amazon Prime and get two-day shipping, pay $8.99. Does that make you an affiliate with Amazon? I mean, no. Technically, yes, but Amazon still has affiliates to where you got to go sell their books and stuff and you get paid off of that. So you need to think about, I'm actually calling it All in Brook uh, Plus or something like that. I forget it. It's, it's written down. It's called All in Brook something. It's, it's like All in Brook Prime, All in Brook Plus. It's something like that. I forget what it's called, but it's something. It's something like that. 
it's just getting these different things. It's really that simple. Don't, don't, don't. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, thank you for asking the question and I'll have to do a better job explaining that, but it's more like getting Amazon Prime. Don't, don't think that you're selling or something like that. You're getting features and I'll explain it. Go ahead, Phil. All in book extreme. All in book extreme. I do like that. All in book extreme. I like that a lot. So right here, here is the subscriber explanation. I'm literally doing this right now. This is my, the colors I want. I got subscriber badges. I got create live stories. I literally took everything. Here's the flow. Like literally, here's the flow. Your customer selects. I had to, I had to map this out just to build it. Like, yeah, you can't program without having a map. Customer selects the product they want. It's out of 899 or Rhino Lyrics here, April 499. If the customer selects, if the customer selects exclusive content, I see Phil, this is where we come in. If the customer selects exclusive content, they choose which creator they want to support. The customer entry, they enter their banking information securely through Stripe or PayPal. The payment is processed. If the customer purchases exclusive content, 40% of 899 is awarded to the creator. They select it. Created is paid out in 30 days. The customer gains access to exclusive content or the CRM based on their selection. If you pay for the CRM, there is no commission. There ain't no 40%. That's CRM. The 40% is you ain't paying $297. What's CRM? I built a CRM. I had to go over it. Or well, maybe, maybe I'll go over it now. Go no, yeah. It. Just like, what is this? What is the, what does it stand for? CRM stands for Customer Relationship Manager. So okay, like Infusion Soft, Sales Funnel, Sales Click Funnels, or anything like that. So the CRM is right here, actually. I, I can show you CRM. So our CRM has. Oh, no, that's the thing. All right. Here's everything. Nope. Here's there you go. Here's everything in Rhino Leg CRM. I've literally 73 different features. And like they all crossed out because I did them all. Social media integration. It says what they think it is case management you can you can create cases for customers and follow follows them chat integration our crm comes with a chat bot that you can program up to a thousand conversations and get a chat bot like hey uh, so who is tracy and the chat bot answer who is tracy well, what how can i benefit from you chat bot answer that when is your next time you're on tour chat bot will answer that you can go back and forth with that it even has social media listening marketing automation and integrate it gets customers for you uh, lets you track your customers um, gives you real-time alerts has workflow so you can have multiple people one 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 of the ways people charge for crms is you got to pay for users like if you go to the script right now and if you put in phil and susan they're going to charge you thirty dollars twice because each user is taking up space I don't have Rhino Leg doing that for the most part. So that means Tracy can have 10 people have access to our CRM without paying for that $5 per person. That's how CRMs do that stuff. Sales analysis, lead projections, lead management. It gives you tools for lead management, all sorts of stuff like that. Plus, it actually listens to your CRM that you got. And then it listens to your social media and it finds people. You can link your social media and it finds people on your social media, like people that are in your CRM and helps you create content for them to go get those people. So there you go. There's all sorts of stuff like that. But back to Arthur Brooke. And then that's where I left off at. Bam. Nope. Nope. Don't worry about that. Uh, where am I? I left off. Come here. Arthur Brooke description. What was that? Marketing grace? No, I was on features. Features. There we go. So here's the flow. And then ah, yeah, yeah, no, that's it. So this is what's happening here. Simple. But when you pay $8.99, here is all the stuff that I want you to have. And I'm working on it right now. So every month, it'll be like Amazon Prime. As you're paying, and just one. You can have multiple monthly subscriptions, but as you pay for a monthly subscription, it opens up a deeper section of Arlenbrook, like, like Amazon. You can get anything on Amazon for free, but you can't get two-day shipping unless you're part of Prime. You can't get videos unless you're part of Prime. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't get one-day okay. shipping unless you're part of Prime. So, question, that, uh -huh. that 
I think I got it now. So, Good. for example, if y'all helping if me I, explain it, if I actually looked at all of the features that I got from the eight ninety nine subscription, not even thinking about, oh man, I like this trader, I want to follow him, and I'd be like, man, that's a lot of features. I would love to have that. I'd be like, right. man, which trader would I want to follow and give that credit to? Oh, that's right. That's exactly right. I did that on purpose. <laughs> I did that on you purpose. Go back over those features again when you have time. You know, oh, no, I do it right now. No, nah, nah. yeah. nah, it's plenty of features. It's plenty. It's do it right now. So all these are the these are the, happen to be the features that I'm using for artificial intelligence. I'll come back here. But here is so right now the features include video, schedule posts, group insights, messages, choose when the text. You can delete text too. You can you can unsend messages. Because I don't see the reason not to have that. Uh, let's see. Uh, video groups. Then there's Allenbrook TV. Uh-huh. Now, it's not, don't, don't, don't confuse that with Facebook Watch. It's my version of Amazon Prime Video or Disney Plus to where there's high quality, your favorite, your favorite creators are making movies and series that you just get for free. Period. That's where the celebrities come in at. You just get this for free. Nice. <laughs> Allenbrook, yeah. Allenbrook TV. Let's see. What else? His, oh, so here's every, I, I basically, I really went to, this is everything you get for free. This is what I did, y'all. I went and said, what are the top features for Facebook? I got them right here. Organize your list, watch party. Oh yeah, there's watch parties in here. Organize your list, watch party, write stuff like that. I said, cool, me too. I went to Instagram. All right, Instagram has this. I said, cool, me too. TikTok. TikTok has this. I said, cool, me too. Red Circle, the podcast platform. Red Circle has this. I said, cool, me too. But this is called Candid. All right, so we're going to let y'all play attention real quick. You don't know this yet. Thank y'all for asking questions. You don't know this yet. But Allenbrook has where you can host podcasts and you can listen to podcasts. And you can do anything you want. And guess how much it costs, Grace? It's free. What? It's free. It's free. Okay, so question. I can listen to it. I can listen to it. Sorry. I can listen to a podcast and scroll at the same time. And All scroll at the same time. Right. Yep, sure can. Sure can. So, Go ahead. Go so ahead, instead of me recording my podcast via Zoom, there we go. I could do the podcast through Arlenbrook. But I think, and I can't continue with that, but like the ult my ultimate question is going to be like you said, how people are going to come to Arlenbrook because, you know, like of greed and wanting money, right? right of course. And I guess I'm still trying to see how can I get this money too? Like, like, in, like <laughs> the exclusive content, like you're, you're, you're starting to explain it more and I, I'm still, I'm getting a little bit better, but I'm still, I don't see how I'm going to make money. <laughs> right. So here's Candid Radio is what that's called, uh, Diwali. That's, that's where your podcast be at. Oliver Brooke comes with Candid Radio. Now, that's, this is what we were talking about the whole time. Y'all need to figure out what you're going to offer as an exclusive piece of content for you. See, that part I can't help with. That's why you don't have an answer yet. I can give you examples since I understand the heart of the question now. But so Tracy's okay. going to have to decide. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I want to jump in right there where you at because that is exactly what I want for not only the game, but for people who are interested in getting um, the help that they need, like content pieces of exclusive content of like when y'all was doing the classes. I remember I was saying, I don't know how to do that and how to bring that together. And you're doing it now. And I just don't know how to bring them to the Allenbrook so that they can get it. But okay, that's what they will be getting. Fair enough. So Tracy, make sure you own class tomorrow. Grace, all tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna answer Tracy's question now, but we're gonna do, I'm not just gonna answer a question. We're gonna build well, I'm gonna attempt to take a good significant amount of time. The only thing we're gonna do is 
help y'all build your way to get this money. Because Tracy sees the That'll opportunity. That'll work. There you go. <laughs> Tracy sees the opportunity and, and you know, et cetera. So we're gonna figure out, we're gonna go through chat GPT prompts, Grace, and figure out what content can we create. So we can call it, I'll give you the title tomorrow. Building exclusive content for Arlen Brook. There's your title for tomorrow. Now, I'm still gonna ask that question now, but there's your title for tomorrow. Okay, Grace. But make sure you, so if, if you're trying to capitalize off Allenbrook, like the Molly, and sit all summer and, and, and winter and make money, this is tomorrow's, tomorrow's your class. Tomorrow's your class. But before you go into detail, real quick, Antonio, mm-hmm. um, so just in my mind, because I just good. summarize it. So the bottom line is the only way to make money with Allenbrook is to be a creator. There's no affiliate marketing. There's no if right. you send out this link and somebody signs up for the eight ninety nine, you get a piece of that. There's none of that. The only Absolutely. Way you can make money is be a creator. A is be a creator. That's correct. For uh, now, for now, is to be a creator. The, uh, the I have my reasons. My main reason is I don't want no clients. This period, I don't want no clients. <laughs> I don't want a single client. I don't want no clients. I don't even want to get into that. Now, will people make up? jobs that let you get paid like we'll, we'll we'll you can guarantee i'm creating new jobs that don't exist yet grace i'm i'm creating exclusive content engineer why is it just why is it just the big boys could create instagram created influencers chat gpt created prompt engineers all of brook is going to create new jobs that don't exist yet like you are a regular person and you don't have exclusive content. Hire my company and we'll build exclusive content for you and you get paid off it or whatever that may be. People are going to do that. And I'm sure that's going to happen, but I want to leave that to the user. I don't want to take that space. Remember, marketers ruin everything. I want marketers to come in and ruin that. I don't want to take that space. There's a lot of space that I know we can make money off of, Janice, that I'm purposely not in because it, it actually cuts the legs of Arlenbrook. If you can't take it and build it and make it your own, then it's not really that fun. I don't want to get all the meat. I just want to own all the infrastructure. I'm leaving a lot of meat available for all the creative ideas and the things. So will we have one day, to answer Demi's question, will one day you can make money without being a creator? Yes. It won't be through affiliate, though. Because that's that 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 doesn't go in my four promises. Uh, Hundred thousand millionaires, and then the number two is make someone who can't sell sell. Affiliate is sales, so I won't do affiliates due to the fact that my four big promises that violates number two. This is the whole point of knowing why you're in business and why you do that. But what I will do, Damali, is create a way to where you can get paid from your videos since you get 100% organic reach. Now, you get it. Or, Damali, I get it way to where you can get credit for your podcast by we putting ads on your podcast. And since you already have an audience, we just, you just get that money. Does that sound good, Damali? Yeah, that sounds like, good. There you go. It all sounds good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, so there will be definitely, and that, that's actually coming sooner than sooner than later. Where there will certainly be ways that a non-creator can make money, but for right now, we're taking the McDonald's approach. Grace, you gonna get this number one, or you gonna get this number two? What's the number one? Eight ninety nine. What's number two? Forty five ninety nine. Ain't no other option. Look, there's no sales decoy up in there. There's no eight nine nine. But if you do this, it's thirty five ninety nine, or you get the forty nine. Nope. It's are you a business person? Can I tell you what I'm really doing, Phil? What I'm really doing? Are you someone from LinkedIn? Get this forty five ninety nine. Are you someone from Facebook? YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, get this 899. 
That's all I did. That's all I did. I didn't do nothing else. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't do anything else. I split up from I'm only on social media to make business contacts. Say less. We got you. Or I come to social media to post stupid stuff and have fun. Don't take this personal. Say less. We got you. They're going to steal your memes anyway. Might as well charge $8.99 to get the ones they can't steal. What happens when you got your own NFT platform? What happens when I turn this into an NFT platform? Which I've already hinted at. Man, this conversation is getting good now. It's getting good. Back to Tracy. Well, Tracy's going to have to figure out what am I going to charge. And that's, that's why this conversation went long. That's why I showed you that video. And this is why we're having this conversation. Notice that video was 24 minutes. The rest of the conversation, Grace, has been about when I dumbed it down. Y'all got seven to 14 days to get prepared. And I don't know. And it was Tanae that started this conversation because Tanae is helping her with a book. And I was like, Tracy, do your marketing plan? She was like, yeah, well, what you going to do? She went to chat with you, got a marketing plan. I was like, good, good job. So what you going to sell, huh? No, there's no huh. Oh, what are you going to sell? Oh, you got the book. Don't sell the book. That don't make no sense. What are you going to, what, what's your eight ninety nine? dollars Is there a program that comes with the book? Are you doing a, a prestigious retreat like Phil and Susan that costs $25,000 per person, but only 12 people can come? 80% profit? I don't know what that is. It's a good day, though, Phil. It's a good day. It's a good day, whatever day. Whatever it is, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good three days. Somewhere out the country. You know, you you pay twenty five thousand dollars. The plane ticket come with it, Grace. Plane ticket come with it. You better. <laughs> the plane ticket come with it. You know, you get to keep eighteen thousand dollars per ticket. The the other seven thousand dollars goes for the plane ticket, business class, business class, first class. You ride first class out here, and then the little hut you got people in. You know, and it's not called a hut. The villa is what I'm trying to say. You know, what I'm talking about on the water. You know, with the butler out there saying, do you need anything else, Janice? Do you need anything else? You know, in some language that, in some accent she like, you know, stuff like that. All right, that's good. That's good. I mean, Can I, you I, clarify I, that? Oh. <laughs> so did now, you, did, did you me. tell her to sell the book? Or are you saying sell the book and something to go along with the book? I actually told her, that's a great question you just asked. I actually told her don't sell her book because she doesn't have an That's audience. what I thought you said. I did. I actually told her don't sell the book because she don't have an audience. I told her to give a book away for free. Actually, oh. I'll tell you everything I told her. I said, I said, with, I said, Trinice, when people look at you, what do they like? And of course, and I said, she gave me some church answer, Janice, I wasn't trying to hear. Oh, you know, I like my, uh, listen, God damn it. That ain't what I asked you. Okay. That's what I, that's what I told her. I said, that ain't what I asked you. I said, when when a man like me come up on you or some woman, what is they saying? And well, they like my chest. All right, got dog. That's what I told her. I said, well, I need you to step back from the camera and tell your cameraman from now on, waist up. Now you can be covered like Michelle Obama, but if they looking at your tie ties, you need to be waist up. This just is what it is. And I need you to go waist up with your book in your hand. They'll tell you everything I told them. I said, you need to say, can y'all come get my free book? And now, and I told her, remember, Trinace, ain't no, don't nobody care about you. Ain't nobody logged on the internet to see you today. You have to get me to stop scrolling. And if what I like about you is your feet, all right, then, cameraman, toes up. It's the truth. You got to make me stop scrolling. So now, okay. whatever you get it, whatever you, whatever they like. Oh, they like my dimples. Neck up. I need a close. I'm ready for my close up, Mister Deville. Show my dimple. Whatever people like about you, they love my smile. Say less. Neck up. Smile. Let's talk. Because remember, our videos are silent until you make me stop with whatever I like about you. 
Then I go, well, let me see what she's talking about. Let me see what he's talking about. And then I click. So that's why I told her, I said, if they like your chest, waist up. And I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not, and I told her, I was very clear. I didn't say, like, put your boobies out. I don't think you want your pastor to see all that. I said, it, if you like chest, you looking in a sweater, a turtleneck, or in it, it don't matter. It don't matter what you put on, we looking. You understand? This is what it is. Now, you can have on a turtleneck. Just step back, do that and say, get my free book. And they're going to go to your website. And then from there is where you need to sell your subscription. Because I told her you don't have a you don't have an audience base. Because you don't have an audience base, you need to use what people are attracted to you about. Get that audience base and then sell them something. And that's what sparked this conversation to be telling y'all she's not ready for me to release all in brew. Now I'm gonna tell you, every last one of y'all here have a very distinct, or mostly every last one of you have a very distinctive advantage because you've been here for quite some time. You are the first celebrities, Janice, of Arlenbrook. You got the blue verified check next to your name. So you're not on Arlenbrook, Damali, as a user. You're on Arlenbrook as a verified public figure. And it's hard to get that blue verified check. If I ever wanted to make it easier, just looking at Twitter, the Twitter debacle, <laughs> the Twitter debacle made me say, "Yeah, let's keep that hard." See, yeah, Tracy, you verified. You, you are verified for sure. My tour is is in your place. You are absolutely verified. Yeah, yeah. So you right, you verified. So now you're being posted and used as a celebrity. Yeah, get it. But now you got some sale. No okay. Sense of, yeah. No sense of being a celebrity and broke. And plenty of those. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of those. All right. So we'll end right here and we'll continue this tomorrow because all of us got to use the restroom and stuff. Phil, is it 12 o'clock for me or 11? What, what time are we meeting? Like 18 minutes or an hour and 18 minutes? Hour and 18 minutes. Perfect. That gives me time to use the restroom slowly then. There you go. <laughs> So what we so just what I promise you we'll do this if I don't want to tell you to come back tomorrow, but if you have this question, come back tomorrow. We'll, I dedicate all tomorrow. But Grace, don't let me forget because you know I'll be thinking and I'll be like, ooh, I want to do this. Grace, something came up. Don't let me do it. I already created the title for tomorrow. All right, all right, don't Notes. let me do it. So give me time me for ninety seconds, Grace. I want to. I have to wrap this up. I haven't. I haven't taught you anything if I haven't challenged you and made it simple for you. Your challenge is you have to. You got, man, you got 14 days, if that. If that, you got 14 days, right? Damali may have bought you another day because now I got to update my subscription to include yearly, yearly pay. So she may have bought you another day. But at this point, I would never give you this kind of information and make myself look stupid. This stuff is done. This, 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 this stuff is done. It's, it's, I think all the book right now sits at 2 million plus lines of code. And every week I'm coming out with a diff different update. It's going to continuously update. It's going to come out online first. So you're going to, it's going to come out on all. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you right now, you can just go keep looking at arlingbrook.com. If you get impatient, just keep going to arlingbrook.com and keep looking and keep just go once a day until you see something. If you just impatient right now, you'll see something. You'll see that I actually uploaded it. But I uploaded it in the older, a lot of the first half of my code was old, the old PHP. So I'm upgrading on the PHP right now. It would start off with all the book first online. And then sometime in a month or less, it'll move to Apple and Android. Can you put the link in the chat, please? Sure can. And can you give us some subscription ideas on tomorrow? That's tomorrow. That's that we're doing that completely tomorrow. Okay. Yep, we're doing that completely tomorrow. I'm going to use the prompts. And right there, it's not it's not secure right now until it goes up. But there you go. There's your link right there. It'll have the S in front of it later. So it's in the chat. You can just keep doing it. I promise you, like, Triant Press is going to be the first publisher on there. Some of y'all are going to have the opportunity to get verified twice. Your, your page is going to get verified and you are going to get verified. Some of y'all. Some of y'all just going to get verified once. But please don't sleep on this because the verification badges is hard to come by. 
hard to come by. Don't don't get it twisted. I would not ruin this platform handing that stuff out because I know you. I know you all you want to is you famous. Does the, does the media does does Google say you famous? All right, that is what it is. No, we're not going to dilute it because because you got to protect your brand. You got to protect your brand. You got to protect your brand. That's why being verified on Twitter means nothing now. And I'm not selling no verification badges. And don't let nobody tell you, don't let nobody come to you and tell you, hey, I can get you verified on all of it. That's a lie. You're getting getting gypped. They cannot verify you. Can't. I, I already selected my criteria and I ain't ever giving it away. I'm not ever giving it away. I have to actually go in right now. All verifications are manual right now. It'll be automated later. I have the automation, but I turned the automation off. All manual. And I'm, I'll probably just keep it that way, period. It's all manual. All manual. So Grace, in conclusion, well, not in conclusion, but concluding this in my little 90 seconds here, you, you need to get ready. It's not too many times that you, you have a friend starting a social media first and that you get to be the standard of it. Now, Phil, Susan, and Grace, you know, you know people know you all that don't apply to y'all because you get paid a different way. You still get paid from Arlenbrook on your subscriptions, but that's, what you, that's, you, that's you being a grown person. Your subscriptions is you. Phil and Susan ain't never got to come up with a subscription. They still gonna get paid. You know what I'm saying? They never got to come. They never got to figure it out. They still gonna get paid. That's different. That don't apply to y'all. That apply to them. And then lastly, Grace, I would take tomorrow very seriously. If I'm sick, I would absolutely unsick myself or be sick at work. I would treat tomorrow like work. Tomorrow may change the rest of your life. Tomorrow just may make you a millionaire. And you know what? You've been praying for it. Might as well go get it. See, that's what I was trying to do yesterday and today. Unsick myself. Okay. Well, I, can't help that the, I can't help that the, the fresh turmeric root ginger tea make me sleep. I was no. in pain all night at work and last night, but I'm not. Well, so, but, but you actually proved my point, though. If you were sick at work, I need you to be sick yes. on this call tomorrow. That was my point, though. That was my point. You know how we, ooh, it's raining. I'm not going to church. But you go to work? Yeah, I'm going to need that same energy. I mean, oh, I tomorrow, I'm going to need y'all to come to here in the rain. <laughs> come to here in the rain. You can not plant oh, better. Right. You can dominate. Love you, everybody. Y'all have Love a good day. Love you more. Love <laughs> you more. All right, then. See you in an hour, Phyllis Susan.